What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 10FL, Chapter 228, The Fearless Tailed Beast. Since the nine tailed beasts came to the country of the Vortex, they stayed in the country of the Vortex one by one like cute animals, and gradually became a special scenery of the country of the Vortex. You must know that tailed beasts are very famous in this world, not only ninjas, but even ordinary people have heard many legends about tailed beasts. But now there is a tail beast to watch, and even close contact with the tail beast, how can ordinary people let it go? It is even said that someone discovered a business opportunity and cooperated with tail beast to open a tail beast playground. Tail beasts perform for people, and others pay for it. Of course, the tail beast also has a share of the rewards. Although tail beasts are powerful energy aggregates and don't need to eat at all, they are also attracted by some delicacies in the country of Vortex. These tail beasts need money to buy good food. It can be said that now the nine tailed beasts have fully integrated into the country of the vortex, and everyone in the country of the vortex has also accepted the tailed beasts. Now the tailed beast is no longer a symbol of disaster for the people of Uzumaki, but a mascot. It is even said that many businessmen rely on tailed beasts to make their talents, and these people treat them like lucky cats. Nine tails, why are you so lazy? A businessman asked me a few days ago if you could be the endorsement of their products. Erway came to nine tails and asked. 087 saw nine tails huddled into a ball at this moment, lazily basking in the sun. Hearing Urwei's words, Ninetales opened his eyes, and Ninetales said a word with great disdain. Quote quote. You, huh, Ninetales, if you are like this, you will die of poverty. I introduced you to a job out of kindness. Urwei looked at Ninetales very angrily and said. Urwei is a tailed beast in the country of Vortex, and it is also the first tailed beast to find a job in the country of Vortex. Because when the merchants in Uzumaki country want to recruit tailed beasts, they will go to Urwei, and when other tailed beasts want to make money to buy things, they will also go to Urwei for help. Over time, Urwei gradually became the spokesperson of the tailed beast, and even said that Urwei began to regard itself as the boss of the tailed beast. Although the nine big tailed beasts were born at the same time, there is also competition among them, and they all want to be the boss. In the past, they won by force. Nine tails claimed to be the boss of the tailed beasts because they had the most tails and the strongest strength. And Urwei is good at speed, and every time he is at the bottom of the battle. But now it's different, life in the country of Vortex doesn't rely on power at all, but depends on who can make money. Self-proclaimed. As the boss of Tailed Beast, Urwei began to help other Tailed Beasts find jobs. Three Tails went to the Aquarium, one Tail went to the Sandy Playground, four Tails went to Hot Pot Town, five Tails went to the Hot Spring Shop. It can be said that every Tailed Beast has found its own use in the country of Vortex, only nine Tails basks in the sun every day. As the most powerful Tailed Beast among Tailed Beasts, many merchants approached nine Tails, but nine Tails rejected them all. Nine Tails, haven't you found a job yet? I will take away your title of the most powerful Tailed Beast. At this time, four Tails came from a distance. Hey, Four Tails, don't you have work today? Urwei looked at Four Tails and asked. Today the renovation of the hot pot restaurant is expanding, so I have a day off. I'm going to open my lava hot pot to the whole ninja world. Four Tails said excitedly. It's so boring. Nine Tails muttered to himself when he heard Urwei talking with Four Tails. During their former captivity, Nine Tails has always wanted to be free. But now he is indeed free and accepted by human beings. Even if he is walking on the road swaggeringly now, ordinary human beings are not afraid of him. But now he feels very bored, and he is also thinking in his heart whether he is really looking for a job. But soon he, BIFC, gave up. It is impossible to work part-time, and it is impossible to work part-time in this life. I am nine tails. But at this moment, he suddenly felt a powerful chakra, and this chakra made him feel very palpitated, and nine tails, who was originally lazy, jumped up instantly. Nine tails opened his eyes and immediately saw Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama walking towards this side. Uchiha Madara, Senju Hashirama, why did you two bastards appear in the country of the vortex? Nine Tails seemed to be froze, the hair on his whole body stood up, and the Nine Tails behind him also shook. Nine Tails, it's been a long time. I didn't expect you to accept humans. Senju Hashirama looked at Nine Tails and said. When Senju Hashirama heard Tsunade say that there are free walking tailed beasts in Uzumaki, Senju Hashirama was also very surprised and couldn't believe it. Senju Hashirama is very clear about tailed beasts, each of them has very terrifying power. Even he was able to subdue the Nine Tailed Beasts back then with great strength. And now seeing the nine tails, the two tailed and other tailed beasts, who are really walking freely in the country of the vortex, he really believes that the tailed beasts have really been tamed by people. It's you too. At this time, four tails also noticed Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara, both of them were very vigilant. Their nine tailed beasts were once defeated by two of them, they were sealed and sent to other countries. Now that the enemy meets, of course they are extremely excited. Wooden man, you are going to die. Urwei jumped up, showing his sharp cat claws, and attacked Senju Hashirama. Senju Hashirama, who didn't check for a while, was hit directly by Urwei, and several bloodstains appeared on his face. Ah, it hurts so much, damn it, Urwei, you dare to attack me. Sudden attack by the two tails, Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara are all vigilant, and they are about to do it. Wooden man, you two should think about it clearly, this is the city of Uzumaki in the country of Vortex. 
In the city of Uzumaki, it is forbidden to use chakra. If you use chakra, Master Zhang Yu and Master Kegaya will punish you both. After the attack, Erhu said confidently. That's right, this is the country of Vortex. We are protected by the explosion of the Vortex. Do you know who Zhang Yu sama and Kegaya sama are? They are the ancestors of ninja. Come on, there is trouble here. All of a sudden, these tailed beasts shouted loudly. Chapter 229, The Ideal Country. With the development of the country of Vortex, the development of new policies in the country of Vortex, the laws of the country of Vortex have also been improved. Among them is a rule in the city of Uzumaki. Except for the law enforcement officers of the country of Vortex, no one can easily use chakra, and anyone who violates it will be subject to arbitration by the country of Vortex. When the Vortex Kingdom first implemented this law, there were many violators, and those who dared to violate the law were severely sanctioned. And because of Zhang Yu's powerful strength and the existence of the ancestor Otsutsuki Kegaya, no one in the entire Uzumaki dared to violate any laws. Even the nine-tailed beasts must abide by the laws of the Uzumaki Kingdom in the city of Uzumaki. And now seeing that Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara are going to use chakra, these tail beasts immediately screamed. Come and see, someone here is going to release ninjutsu. Police, come quickly. The nine-tailed beasts were all beaten up by Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama, and there is a lot of hatred between them. Seeing the enemy in front of him now, the nine-tailed beasts of course want to take revenge. But they are also very clear that with their own strength, they are no match for these two people in front of them. They are not the opponents of the two, but there are people in the country of the Vortex who are their opponents. So seeing that Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama were going to use chakra, they immediately shouted, attracting everyone around them. Who are the two of them, dare to use ninjutsu in our whirlpool city? Their outfits are really weird, they can't be spies from other countries. I think they are spies, otherwise how could they bully the tailed beast? It must be like this, I remember the last time there were spies attacking the tailed beast. Come on, there are spies who want to attack our country's tailed beast. All of a sudden, everyone around shouted, pointing at Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara one by one. You people. Hearing the voices pointing around, Uchiha Madara immediately became angry, and was about to make a move, but was stopped by Senju Hashirama. Madara, let's get out of here first. Senju Hashirama pulled Uchiha Madara and fled here in a very embarrassing way amidst the yelling. After fleeing for more than a dozen streets in a row, they stopped when they found no one was chasing them. A hole, Hashirama, why are you dragging me away? Uchiha Madara said with a gloomy face. One of them is the god of ninja, and the other is the former ninja killing god. Since they became famous, they have never been in such a mess. But today they were actually driven away by a group of people, thinking about it makes them very angry. Haha, <laughs> it's really interesting. Unlike Uchiha Madara's anger, Senju Hashirama laughed instead. Hashirama, you're still smiling. Uchiha Madara looked at Senju Hashirama angrily and said. Madara, I'm so happy, the tailed beast can really live in peace with humans. Maybe the country of the vortex can really achieve things that the two of us can't do. Senju Hashirama said very excitedly. The country of the vortex is indeed different from other countries. Uchiha Madara also nodded. Madara, don't be in a daze, let's go, I like the country of the vortex more and more, said Hashirama, pulling Uchiha Madara, and the two ran away like good friends. The two of them went around the entire country of Vortex, and every time they went to a place, they would be amazed. There is no oppression, no poverty, no refugees in Vortex land, all of which surprised Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama. The two of them are people who have passed through the Sengoku period. In the Sengoku period, people's lives were poor and they lived a precarious life every day. Even if they established the Konoha village ninja village to ensure the living conditions for ninjas, life is still in dire straits for ordinary people. But now in Uzumaki, there is no gap between ninjas and ordinary people. Ninjas are just a profession. Everyone can be a ninja, and at the same time, everyone can be a commoner. Both civilians and ninjas can get a stable life without having to live a precarious life. From their point of view, the country of Vortex is just like heaven, isn't this the peaceful world they want? Dot 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 dot. Ask for flowers. Madara, the country of the Vortex is really great, isn't this the ideal country we want to build? Senju Hashirama said to Uchiha Madara. Yeah, this country is really incredible. However, now the four countries are about to attack the country of the Vortex and want to destroy the entire country of the Vortex. Uchiha Madara couldn't help but said. Although Uchiha Madara is a villain in the original book, his starting point is good, and they are all for the realization of world peace. And now seeing such a peaceful country as the country of Vortex, his heart is also very comfortable. Why would someone want to destroy this peaceful country? Hearing Uchiha Madara's words, Senju Hashirama's face became serious. Senju Hashirama is very satisfied with the country of the Vortex, it is just like the country in his mind. Hashirama, the two of us are fortunate to see peace, and we must not allow anyone to break this peace. Since our respective ideas of peace have failed, we will use our strength to protect the current peace. It's not in vain for us to be resurrected. Uchiha Madara said with a firm face. That's right, since we haven't made peace, we've kept it. Go and defeat these invaders. Senju Hashirama's face hardened immediately. Soon after some discussions, the two came to the border area of the country of Vortex. At this time, at the border of Uzumaki, ninja troops from the four major countries are gathering rapidly, and it seems that they have surrounded the entire Uzumaki. But they were not in a hurry to attack. 
Instead, the leaders of the four countries gathered again to discuss how to attack the country of Vortex. Now that our troops have assembled, it's time to talk about the country of political turmoil. As long as we capture the Vortex Kingdom, we can restore our former status. That's right, the Kingdom of Vortex should be destroyed. People from the four countries showed very excited expressions on their faces. Chapter 230, Two People. From the perspective of the four countries, now that the four countries are attacking the country of the Vortex together, the country of the Vortex is doomed today. As long as the country of Vortex is destroyed, they can snatch the resources of the country of Vortex, let their country develop rapidly, and restore their country's powerful status. As for whether they will be defeated by the Vortex country, none of them thought about it. You know, now four countries are attacking the Uzumaki country at the same time. Together, the four countries are equivalent to owning two-thirds of the ninjas in the entire world, with 10,000 ninjas. Even if the country of Vortex is very powerful, they cannot be the opponents of the coalition forces of the four countries. In their hearts, the country of the Vortex has become a big piece of fat, and now it is waiting for them to go. But how to distribute this big piece of fat, the four of them, 380, still need to discuss. Our country of fire is the closest to the country of Vortex, and the country of Vortex used to be a subsidiary country of our country of fire. After the country of Vortex was captured, everything on the land of the country of Vortex will be taken by our country of fire, Shimura Danzo was the first to speak. Damn, what did you say? Based on the distance, our country of thunder is the closest to the country of Vortex, and these lands should also be wanted by our country of thunder. Fourth Rakage said immediately. Our land of winds lacks water resources. When the country of the Vortex is captured, we will have the land that was once the country of water. Fourth Case Cage said. What do you mean by this? Our land of earth doesn't want it anymore, our land of earth wants this piece of land. Third Tsuchikage said without showing any weakness. For a while, the four of them started discussing, all fighting for the land of the country of Vortex. Before the country of the Vortex was captured, the four countries began to quarrel for the country of the Vortex. Okay, let's stop arguing. Whoever conquers the land is his own. After scrambling for a long time, they didn't get an answer that satisfied everyone. In the end, they felt that they would use war to carve up the country of Vortex. The land laid down by that country belongs to that country. Now that the carve-up plan has been discussed, the rest is the marching plan, how to attack the country of Vortex. If the kingdom of Vortex is not defeated, the distribution method they have discussed for so long will be useless. What's going on here? Our army is already under pressure, why didn't the country of the Vortex respond? Shimura Danzo said very puzzled. Haha, the country of the Vortex must be scared, and the people in the country of the Vortex have fled. Fourth Rakage said with a big laugh. Hearing the words of Fourth Rakage, the people around are very contemptuous. The Uzumaki country is now the most powerful country, and there is such a strong Uzumaki Zhang Yu, escape is the most impossible thing. It is indeed very strange, there may be a conspiracy in the country of the Vortex. Be careful, the power of the Vortex Kingdom cannot be underestimated. Fourth Case Cage and Third Suchikage also said with solemn faces. At this moment, a perception ninja broke in suddenly. Report to the adults, find the situation. What's the matter? Did the army of the Uzumaki Kingdom appear? Shimura Danzo said immediately. Master Danzo, it's not an army, but two people came from the direction of Uzumaki, said the sentient ninja. Two people? Who? The others immediately asked. I don't know, but the two of them have a very large chakra, the perception ninja said immediately. What does the country of the vortex mean? Could it be that they want to rely on two people to resist our coalition forces? The whole army is on alert. Go out and see, what are they going to do? Everyone who was really confused came outside and watched the territory of the country of the vortex vigilantly. Sure enough, they saw two figures advancing rapidly. Madara, when you see people from the four countries, don't do anything, I'll persuade them. Senju Hashirama said to Uchiha Madara beside him. HMPH, Hashirama, you're still so naive. This is simply impossible. Uchiha Madara said very disdainfully. How do you know if you don't try, maybe they can withdraw their troops under my persuasion. Senju Hashirama said naively. Kama. Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama were very fast, and soon came to the front of the ninja coalition. At this time, everyone in the ninja alliance also saw who was coming. This, what's going on here? Shodai. That's Uchiha Madara. How is this possible? Aren't they dead? This must be fake, someone is pretending to be. Everyone was amazed to see that it was the legendary Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara who came here. Although a long time has passed since the era of Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara, the legend left by the two has not disappeared. Even in the valley of the end of the Kingdom of Fire, there are two statues. At the same time, there are also many people who survived the Senju Hashirama period among the Ninja Alliance, such as Third Tsuchikage, Shimura Danzo, and others, who have seen the two with their own eyes. So now seeing Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara approaching from a distance, they couldn't help but have shocked expressions on their faces. Exclamation mark. God of Ninja Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara. How is this possible, aren't the two of them dead? Fourth Case Cage and Fourth Rakage asked in surprise. No mistake, they are Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara 1.0. Whether it's momentum or chakra, it's exactly the same. Shimura Danzo and Third Tsuchikage said with certainty. Although I don't know what's going on. But let's get in touch first. 
Shimura Danzo went up first, looked at Senju Hashirama and said, Shodai, next Shimura Danzo. Shimura Danzo. I remember, you were the kid who was with the monkey back then. Senju Hashirama said looking at Shimura Danzo. And Uchiha Madara looked at Shimura Danzo with a very disdainful snort. Shodai, what's going on? Aren't you all dead? Why did it appear in the country of the vortex? Shimura Danzo asked Senju Hashirama while looking at him. Chapter 231, Guarding Peace. Interesting for you. Selena Gomez posts powerful bikini then and now. More. 307. 77. 102. Through some conversations, Senju Hashirama told a lot about his own childhood, and Shimura Danzo was very sure that the Senju Hashirama in front of him was first Hokage, and it wasn't faked by others. So now Shimura Danzo is very confused, isn't Senju Hashirama dead? How come he is alive again now? He, he Madara and I are indeed dead. However, the people of Uzumaki brought us back to life, giving us another chance to come to the ninja world. Senju Hashirama said with a big laugh. What? Can revive people? How is this possible? Could it be that Uzumaki kingdom has become so powerful that it can revive people? Hearing Senju Hashirama's words, everyone was completely surprised. Although the ninja world has many powerful ninjutsu and ninjutsu for various purposes, there has never been a ninjutsu that can resurrect people. It is not that no one has studied ninjutsu to resurrect people before, but they all ended in failure, and many people even died directly because of ninjutsu out of control. Over time, the ninja world also gave up research on ninjutsu that revives people. And now the country of Uzumaki actually researched the ninjutsu that can revive people, and resurrected Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara, so how could they not be surprised? And now they're not just surprised, but cold shrimp. Shimura Danzo, the purpose of my coming here with Madara today is to hope that you will leave and not start a war. Senju Hashirama said, looking at Shimura Danzo in front of him. Shodai, are you going to protect the country of Uzumaki? Shimura Danzo's eyes flashed when he heard Senju Hashirama's words, and his tone immediately became harsh. Protection. No, no. The country of the Vortex does not need our protection. We just want to protect you. Senju Hashirama said. Senju Hashirama has been around the country of the Vortex, but he is very clear about the power zone of the country of the Vortex. Not to mention that there are many strong people in the country of Vortex, such as Tsunade, Makoto, Kashina and others, each of them has the same power as themselves. And there are also two unfathomable ninja ancestors, Uzumaki Jongyu and Otsutsuki Kegaya, in Uzumaki. To put it bluntly, the coalition forces of the four major ninja villages seem to be menacing, but they may have been wiped out before they entered the country of Vortex. As a man of peace, Senju Hashirama does not want to see these people die in vain. Shodai, we don't need this so-called protection of yours. What we have to do now is to capture the kingdom of Vortex. Did you know that Uzumaki Jongyu of Uzumaki country once passed through Konoha village? Even the third Hokage Sarutobi Hirazan died at the hands of Jongyu. Shimura Danzo said looking at Senju Hashirama. That's right, let's give up attacking the country of Uzumaki, it's impossible, Uzumaki Jongyu killed many people in our country, we want revenge. That's right, there is no Konoha village anymore, and you are not first Hokage anymore, you are not qualified to manage our affairs. The kingdom of Vortex must be destroyed today. Anyone who dares to stop our ninja alliance will be an enemy. People from the four countries gritted their teeth one by one and said. They gathered here aggressively, just to capture the Vortex country and plunder the Vortex country's resources. And now you, a dead person, actually want me to stop attacking the Vortex kingdom. What a joke. Not only Shimura Danzo would not agree, even people from other countries would not agree. You, seeing that these people not only did not listen to his persuasion, but still wanted to attack the country of Vortex, Senju Hashirama had no choice now. Hashirama, I told you long ago that your naive behavior is useless. They won't listen to you. If you want to protect peace, you need to eliminate them. At this moment, Uchiha Madara came up, looked at the people in front of him and said in a cold tone. Since this is the case, there is no way. We just have to beat them. Senju Hashirama's eyes also hardened. Both Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara have been fighting for peace all their lives, and now he finally sees the hope of peace in the country of Vortex, of course he can't let these people destroy the peace. Shodai, what are you doing, don't you want to be an enemy of the ninjas from the land of fire? Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara sensed the outbreak of fighting intent, and said with an ugly face. I just want to protect peace now. Senju Hashirama said firmly. Looking at Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara standing there, the faces of the ninja allied forces of the four major countries were very ugly. Damn it, what should I do now? Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara stand in our way. What are you afraid of, there are only two of them, and we are the ninja alliance, with 10,000 ninjas. Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara, these are legendary ninjas, each possessing superpowers, and have left various legends in the ninja world. Now suddenly faced with such two superpowers, all the ninja coalition forces also felt Alexander. Seeing the rioting ninja coalition forces, 3rd Suchikage immediately flew up and shouted loudly. Listen to me, all the ninjas, although the two of them were once super strong, they have been eliminated by the times. Now is our time, let us defeat them and see our power. Sure enough, upon hearing 3rd Suchikage's words, the fighting spirit of the ninja alliance instantly recovered. That's right, let's beat them. Attack, kill. Year. 
All the ninja coalition forces are attacking Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara. Thousands of ninjas charged at the same time, and the momentum was indeed very compelling. But Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara were not affected by the momentum, and looked at each other instead. Madara, it's been a long time since the two of us fought side by side. Senju Hashirama said looking at Uchiha Madara. Remember the last time we fought side by side was before Konoha village was established. Uchiha Madara also said with longing. And this time, we will fight for peace. Chapter 232 Chaotic Battlefield Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara blocked the way of the four major ninja coalition forces, and the four major ninja coalition forces attacked them at the same time. Before the two started to fight, there was a powerful momentum rushing. But in the face of this momentum, Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara's faces are indeed very calm. Both of them are from the Sengoku period, and they haven't seen any scenes. What a spectacle, Hashirama, I can't wait. I'll go first. Seeing the tens of thousands of ninjas rushing forward, Uchiha Madara didn't have the slightest fear, but instead rushed forward with excitement on his face. Madara, wait, show mercy. Watching Uchiha Madara rush up, Senju Hashirama also rushed up. Both Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara are very fast and quickly meet the enemy. Boom boom boom. As soon as the two fought, there was a huge explosion, and countless ninjas in the ninja coalition were directly sent flying. The sound of screams, collisions, and explosions were constantly intertwined. Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara are like beasts charging into the herd. Uchiha Madara's eyes became scarlet, and the two Sharingan kept spinning. He captured all the movements of everyone around him, and easily escaped everyone's attacks. When dodging the attack, Uchiha Madara shot at the same time, and every time a ninja fell, one ninja died. None of these ninja coalitions could stop Uchiha Madara from doing it. Soon, Uchiha was surrounded by corpses. Unlike Uchiha Madara's decisive killing, Senju Hashirama's attack is very gentle, only the enemy loses the ability to move, and does not harm their lives. But even so, the speed at which the enemies around Senju Hashirama fell was not as fast as Senju Hashirama. Whether it is Senju Hashirama or Uchiha Madara, they are all strong men who have emerged from endless killings. Whether it is combat awareness, reaction or attack, these ninjas cannot compare. Don't look at Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara are just two people, but these two are very easy to block the progress of the ninja alliance. Damn, this is the power of Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara. It can't go on like this, ordinary ninjas are no match for the two of them at all. Looks like it's time for us to make a move. Let's go, stop the two of them. Seeing Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara who were generously slaughtering Kamui and slaughtering the ninja alliance, people from the four major countries looked at each other and rushed up. Interesting, let me see how strong you guys are. Fire style big fire extinguished. Seeing the four people rushing forward, Uchiha Madara was not afraid, instead, he quickly went up to them. With his hands quickly forming seals, a huge great fireball with a diameter of 100 meters was released. Hoo hoo. The huge fireball rushed forward with raging flames, and a dozen or so unlucky ninja allied forces were directly engulfed by the flames without even a chance to react. This, is this really fire style? This is too exaggerated. Seeing the huge incoming fireball, everyone in the ninja alliance was amazed. Magnet style, sands wave. Fourth case cage made a move immediately, the surrounding ground surged, and a piece of golden sand was released, rushing towards it like a wave. Boom boom boom. The two collided, and a huge explosion sounded, and the burst flames and scattered sand gold attacked all around, and many unlucky ninja coalition forces died. Is it blocked? The magnet style of the land of wind. Seeing that his attack was blocked, Uchiha Madara was not surprised at all. Uchiha Madara, die to me. Dust escape, original realm stripping technique. At this time, Suchikage also rushed up, and the dust escaped beam of light quickly attacked Uchiha Madara. Uchiha Madara dodged easily and quickly dodged third Suchikage's attack. Dust done. It's you, the kid from the land of earth at that time. Uchiha Madara said very disdainfully. Uchiha Madara, you don't want to be presumptuous with me. Shimura Danzo and fourth Rakage also quickly caught up. Haha, let me see if you ants can please me. Uchiha Madara said mockingly. It seems that Madara is going to get serious. I hope Madara will not go too far. Senju Hashirama looked at the laughing Uchiha Madara, and couldn't help thinking. If anyone in this world knows Uchiha Madara best, it must be Senju Hashirama. The two are both friends and rivals. Don't look at the fierce attack of Uchiha Madara just now, but Senju Hashirama is very clear that Uchiha Madara didn't use real power at all, and everything just now was just a warm-up. When a big war was going on at the border of the country of Vortex, there was no chaos in the country of Vortex, and there was not even any atmosphere of war at all. The entire country of Vortex is still immersed in prosperity and peace. Even if the people of Uzumaki already knew that the four great ninja villages had declared war on Uzumaki, they didn't care. Because they believe that the country of Vortex can protect their safety, as long as they are in the country of Vortex, no one can harm them, and as long as there is Zhang Yu in the country of Vortex, they will have nothing to fear. Quote dot quote. What? Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara went to the border of Uzumaki King Zhao's and are fighting with the ninja alliance. Hearing this news, Zhang Yu asked in shock. Zhang Yu didn't pay much attention to the allied forces of the ninja world, and even said that Zhang Yu planned to deal with them directly after they were assembled. What Zhang Yu didn't expect was that Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara took the lead and directly attacked the ninja alliance. 
Zhang Yu, my grandfather and Senju Hashirama, will they be in danger? I'm very worried about them. Senju Tsunade said with some worry at the end. Hee hee, Tsunade, you should be worried about the Ninja Alliance. How could these rubbish be opponents of Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara? Zhang Yu said with a smile. Zhang Yu is very clear, in the original book, Uchiha Madara resisted the Ninja Coalition forces of the five great villages with one person. Chapter 233 Donzo's Hidden Power The entire ninja world has undergone many changes because of the appearance of Zhang Yu. Kurigakur joined Uzumaki, and the ninja coalition changed from the five major ninja coalitions to the four major ninja coalitions. Moreover, these four countries have all been attacked by Zhang Yu, and their strength is not as good as before. With the power of Uchiha Madara, none of the five major ninja coalitions are opponents, and now the four major ninja coalitions are even less opponents of Uchiha Madara. And now that there is such a strong Senju Hashirama, the failure of the ninja alliance has long been a foregone conclusion. Tsunade, we should also abandon our preparations. Wei Yu said to Tsunade. Prepare. Prepare for what? Tsunade asked suspiciously. Of course I am preparing to occupy the four major countries. The failure of their ninja coalition is doomed. This is the time for the development of our Uzumaki kingdom. Zhang Yu said looking at Tsunade. Sure enough, Tsunade's eyes lit up when he heard Zhang Yu's words, you are right, this is indeed a good opportunity for our country of Vortex. The country of the Vortex gathers troops and attacks the country of fire. Tsunade waved his hands and ordered immediately. The Senju family of Tsunade was born in the land of fire, although for various reasons, they were forced to come to the land of Vortex. But for the former land of fire, they are also very nostalgic in their hearts. And now there is an opportunity to take back the land of the fire nation, how could Tsunade let it go? Since your fire nation has forced our Senju clan away, our Eddie nation will occupy the entire fire nation today. Sure enough, after hearing this order from Senju Tsunade, all the ninjas in the Uzumaki kingdom became active. Among the ninjas in the country of Vortex, quite a few were from the country of fire. Their experience was the same as that of the Senju clan, they were all forced to leave the country of fire. Now there is an opportunity to regain the land of the fire nation, how can they let it go? In addition, the land of fire is still the most fertile land on the entire ninja continent, with countless resources, and the land of Urtma cannot be let go. In the border area of the country of Vortex, the battle is still going on. Under the strong power of Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara, the ninja coalition retreated one after another, unable to stop them at all. Is this your strength? It's really too weak. Uchiha Madara stood there, fully opened Bij Suzano, and looked at everyone in front of her with disdain. Not far from Uchiha Madara, Senju Hashirama also released his wood style. Big trees emerged from the ground one after another, and countless trees turned into vines and directly tied up each ninja, sucking up Chakra's body and paralyzing him. Damn it, I can't go on like this, what should I do? The battle must be ended as soon as possible. If this continues, our battle will be defeated. The strength of Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama is simply too strong. No. Even if they are very powerful, they will definitely find a way. The leaders of the four countries said with ugly faces. Originally, the four countries united to form the ninja coalition to capture the Uzumaki country and carve up everything in the Uzumaki country. But they haven't entered the country of Vortex yet, they were actually stopped by two dead people. Now they must quickly get rid of the two people in front of them, otherwise, the ninja coalition forces of their four countries will become a joke. Do you have any hidden power? Hurry up. Otherwise, there will be no chance. Third Rakage looked at the crowd and shouted loudly. It seems that I have to let the old man take action. Shimura Danzo took a step forward, and at the same time began to dismantle the bandage on his arm. Danzo, are you able to defeat Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama? Asked the other curiously. Although it is still uncertain whether they can defeat the two of them. But relying on this kind of power to hold them back should be no problem. The bandage on Shimura Danzo's arm fell off, a wooden arm leaked out, and there were scarlet Sharingan on the arm. This is Donzo's updated version of the Sharingan wood style arm. After seeing Zhang Yu unleash the powerful wood style and the powerful power of Sharingan, Shimura Danzo launched his full strength to study the power of wood style and Sharingan. Through continuous research, a lot of resources were spent, and finally the Sharingan wood style arm in the original work was developed. Now seeing such great power as Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama, Shimura Danzo intends to use the power of this arm. This is. Danzo you are disgusting. You actually don't let the blood successors in the village go, looking at Danzo's arm everyone said in a frenzy. For the land of fire, everything is made. And the Uchiha clan and the Senju clan are no longer our fire nation clan. Shimura Danzo said immediately. Now I will defeat them with the power of the Uchiha clan and the Senju clan. Wood style tree root explosion. Shimura Danzo formed a mudra with both hands, and this arm swelled rapidly, turning into a huge tree. The trees continued to skyrocket, attacking towards Uchiha Madara. This is. Wood style. The power of Hashirama. No, this kind of power can't be compared with Hashirama at all. Uchiha Madara said helplessly, controlling Suzano to go up. Quote dot 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 quote. The energy long sword in Suzano's hand cut off these trees easily. Madara, what's going on? I feel the breath of wood style. Senju Hashirama rushed over from a distance, Senju Hashirama asked. See for yourself, this is what the Konoha shinobi you once guarded did. Uchiha Madara looked at Shimura Danzo and said very angrily. 
This is. Sharingan, wood style. Damn, Danzo what did you do? Senju Hashirama became directly angry now, and shouted loudly at Shimura Danzo. Stealing the bloodline of other families has always been a taboo in the ninja world, even when Senju Hashirama was alive, he would not dare to do such a thing. And now Shimura Danzo not only stole the power of the Senju clan, but also the power of the Uchiha clan, which is simply unforgivable. But facing Senju Hashirama's questioning, Shimura Danzo did not blush and said without heartbeat. I'm all for the kingdom of fire. For the land of fire, every day is worth it. Today I will use your strength to defeat you. Chapter 234, Azanagi. Shimura Danzo is very confident now. In Shimura Danzo's view, Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama and even Zhang Yu possess great power because of wood style and Sharingan. And now that I also have the power of wood style and show Sharingan, I will definitely be able to defeat the person in front of me today. At the thought of this, Shimura Danzo became very excited, and quickly made a seal with both hands. Wood style explosive tree gun. Danzo's arm exploded suddenly, and a piece of tree swelled rapidly, rushing towards Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama like spikes. Hashirama, don't make a move, leave it to me. Today I will let them know what real power is. Uchiha Madara said to Senju Hashirama, and rushed up quickly by himself. The huge Suzano rushed up with a powerful momentum, and the energy long sword in his hand cut off the rushing trees very easily. At the same time, the offensive continued unabated towards Shimura Danzo's attack. Uchiha Madara's attack was not only very violent, but also so fast that Shimura Danzo had no time to dodge it. The huge energy sword cut Shimura Danzo in half. What, did Danzo die so easily? Damn it, isn't Danzo a scumbag who can stop them? Now what should we do? Wait, Danzo can't die like this. Seeing Danzo die like this, the others were shocked. How could Shimura Danzo, who was so coaxed just now, be killed so easily? Not only them, even Uchiha Madara frowned, killing Shimura Danzo so easily, he also felt that the situation was not right. But at this moment, the dead Shimura Danzo's body twisted and disappeared without a trace. At the same time an intact Shimura Danzo appeared behind Uchiha Madara. Wind-style vacuum datama. The energy ball condensed by the huge gust of wind hit Suzano, causing the huge Suzano to shake for a while. What's going on here? Isn't Danzo dead? Is this an illusion? No, any illusion is useless in front of Sharingan. Looking at the revived Danzo, everyone was amazed and couldn't figure out what was going on. But Uchiha Madara looked at the Sharingan closed on Shimura Danzo's arm, and instantly understood. This is Azanagi. You know the forbidden technique of our Uchiha clan. Uchiha Madara looked at Shimura Danzo and said. As a member of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Madara is very aware of Azanagi's power. Yes, this is the forbidden technique of your Uchiha clan. Today I will defeat you with the forbidden technique of the Uchiha clan. Shimura Danzo said very confidently. Haha, it's so funny. Now is the time for you to see the real power. Wood style the tree world comes. Uchiha Madara laughed loudly, and quickly formed a mudra with both hands, and a burst of life force burst out from Uchiha Madara's body in an instant. The surrounding ground shook violently, and countless trees burst out of the ground, turning into vines all over the sky and attacking everyone. Wherever it went, it was like destroying everything, destroying everything. This. What's going on here? How can Uchiha Madara also use wood style? This is not the power of Senju Hashirama. Anyway, run. Seeing the fast approaching trees, all the members of the Ninja Alliance ran away in panic. Seeing Uchiha Madara release the powerful wood style, not only the people of the Ninja Alliance felt incredible, but even Senju Hashirama was very surprised. Madara, what's going on? How can you use my power? Senju Hashirama asked in surprise. Wood style is one's own power, why can everyone use wood style now, when did one's own power become so cheap? Whether it is the Senju clan or the Uchiha clan, our power comes from the ancestor of the ninja. This is the power I got from you, in preparation for infinite Tsukuyomi. Now that peace has appeared, I can only use this power to protect peace. Uchiha Madara explained, while manipulating the trees to continuously throw towards Shimura Danzo. Ask for flowers. Although Shimura Danzo has the forbidden technique Azanagi of the Uchiha clan, he is not afraid of harm, but this has a time limit. If the time is exceeded, if he is fatally injured again, he will die. Obviously Uchiha Madara also knew this, and attacked Shimura Danzo one after another. Sharingan on Shimura Danzo's arm tens are closing fast. Damn, can't this t hash j. Let's go help, Danzo. If Danzo dies, we lose. Third Suchikage said, looking at Shimura Danzo who was completely suppressed. Although third Hokage is also very unfavorable to Shimura Danzo, and even said that he hates him a little bit. Zero. But now they were grasshoppers tied to a rope, and if Danzo was killed, they would be next. How should we support? Uchiha Madara's power is too strong. Third Rakage asked. Leave it to me. My dust escape can completely destroy Uchiha Madara. You two cover me. Third Suchikage said to Keisukage and Rakage beside him. Okay. Leave it to us. We'll help you block those trees. Attack. The three joined forces and attacked the surrounding trees. Senju Hashirama was also very surprised to see Uchiha Madara releasing wood style to kill enemies continuously. Madara, you are amazing, you can manipulate wood style so skillfully. It's good that you are not an enemy now. Senju Hashirama said happily. Senju Hashirama is very clear that his most powerful force is wood style, and it is wood style that can defeat Uchiha Madara. 
And now that Uchiha has the same wood style power as himself, if he fights with Uchiha Madara again, the outcome is uncertain. Hearing Senju Hashirama's words, Uchiha Madara also had a smile on his face. Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara fought for a long time, but Senju Hashirama won every time. Now that Senju Hashirama admits that he is not as good as himself, Uchiha Madara is also very happy. Chapter 235 Tengai Shinsei Now Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama are not enemies but two guardians of peace, so Uchiha Madara has no hiding from Senju Hashirama either. Hashirama, it's still too early for you to be surprised. There will be more surprising things later. Uchiha Madara looked at Senju Hashirama and said. When I am more surprised, then I will wait and see. Senju Hashirama said with a smile, and he was very happy that his friend Uchiha Madara could improve his strength. At this moment, the Sharingan in Shimura Danzo's hands ran out, and Shimura Danzo, who had no choice but to escape here quickly. HMPH, where are you running? How dare you steal the power of our Uchiha clan and Senju clan, today is your death day. Uchiha Madara continued to manipulate the surrounding wood style and attacked Shimura, 090, Danzo. Shimura Danzo was like a rat crossing the street, dodging quickly and fleeing in embarrassment. At this moment, 3rd Suchikage, 4th Rakage, and 4th Case Cage attacked in coordination with each other. Uchiha Madara, die to me. Dust escape, the stripping technique of the super original world. Seeing the right opportunity, 3rd Suchikage quickly formed seals with both hands, releasing his most powerful dust escape. The huge white dust tunnel rushed towards Uchiha Madara quickly, and all the trees along the way were smashed into debris by the dust tunnel. But in the face of such a powerful attack, Uchiha Madara did not dodge, but showed a disdainful expression on his face again. Little devil, I didn't expect you to grow old and still be so ignorant. Just disappear for me. The pattern in Uchiha Madara's eyes changed rapidly, turning into a circle of Rinnegan. Rinnegan's ability was activated, and third Suchikage's dusty beam of light disappeared immediately. How, how is this possible? Those eyes, those are the same eyes as Uzumaki Zhang Yu. Seeing Uchiha Madara's eyes, third Suchikage yelled, with a look of fear on his face. Third Suchikage remembered very clearly, Uzumaki Zhang Yu relied on the power of these eyes to destroy the entire Rock Shinobi village. Seeing these eyes again now, third Suchikage became terrified like instinct. Madara, your eyes. Could this be the legendary Rinnegan? Senju Hashirama asked in surprise, seeing the change in Uchiha Madara's eyes. Yes, this is the power of the eyes of the legendary Sage of Six Paths. The power of the Senju family and the Uchiha family is fused together, and the Senju Gentian will give birth to the power of Six Paths. Uchiha Madara said to Senju Hashirama. It's unbelievable that neither of our families has such a relationship. Senju Hashirama murmured. Now you destroyers of peace, disappear under the power of the Uchiha clan and the Senju clan. Tengai Shinsei. Uchiha Madara's body surged with energy, and Suzano condensed on his body. Along with Uchiha Madara doing mudra with both hands, huge Suzano is also doing mudra with both hands. A powerful momentum erupted from Uchiha Madara, and the huge momentum went straight to the sky. Feeling the powerful aura erupting from Uchiha Madara, all the members of the Ninja Alliance trembled and felt uneasy, not knowing what attack Uchiha Madara would launch next. At this moment, a shadow appeared above everyone's heads, and everyone looked up. After seeing this shadow clearly, everyone in the world was stunned. This, how is this possible? Are you kidding me? This power? Is this really the power that humans can have? This is a huge meteorite, an unimaginably large meteorite, the friction between the meteorite and the air ignited a circle of flames. In front of this meteorite, everyone felt that they were very small and had no thought of resisting at all. No, let's run away. Run, get out of here. Don't be stunned here, run away. I don't know who was the first to shout out, and fled into the distance. Seeing this person's actions, everyone reacted and ran away quickly one by one. The current Ninja Alliance is also different from the Ninja Alliance in the original book. The Ninja Alliance of these four countries is united because of their interests, and there is still suspicion between them. Now facing the unstoppable force of Uchiha Madara, what they think of is not fighting, but running away. Among them, the fastest runners are the leaders of the four major countries. They are in high positions, everyone controls a country, and they don't want to die, especially Shimura Danzo, who has just become the leader of the Fire Nation after paying a lot of money. It would be a shame if he died like this. But can they really escape? Boom. A huge meteorite fell down, and its huge body turned into a huge impact and hit the ground. Countless ninjas were directly hit by the impact, spitting blood to death, and even more unlucky ones were directly crushed to death by meteorites. I don't know if it was Uchiha Madara's deliberate effort, but the meteorite landed at the location of Shimura Danzo. Shimura Danzo was crushed into meatloaf by the meteorite without even a chance to scream. Boom boom boom. The roaring sound continued to stir, and the ground was constantly shaking like an earthquake. The whole commotion lasted for half an hour before it calmed down. A piece of dust filled the entire battlefield, and in the dust were all the dead ninja coalition forces in 5.6. Ahem, it seems that your battle is over. At this moment, Zhang Yu appeared, looking at the huge meteorite in front of him and said. Uzumaki Zhang Yu. Looking at the appearance of Zhang Yu, Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama, their expressions became very strange. The two of them knew very well that the person in front of them was the man of Senju Tsunade and Uchiha Makoto, and he was also the one who made the Uzumaki kingdom rise. 
But Zhang Yu has another identity, that is, the man of Otsutsuki Kegaya, the ancestor of ninja. It can be said that there is no Zhang Yu, and there is no current ninja world. In this way, Zhang Yu is still their ancestor. So Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama, now really don't know what to call Zhang Yu. Chapter 236, Changed Ninja Realm. The pitch black energy ball rapidly expanded in Zhang Yu's hands, expanding in an instant, surrounding the huge meteorite. I saw that the huge meteorite in front of me disappeared without a trace, as if it had never appeared before. This is the power of the truth-seeking ball, which can easily devour any substance other than immortal art. After the huge meteorite disappeared, the surrounding land rolled and all the corpses disappeared. At the same time, the emerald green trees grew rapidly on the ground, and after a few breaths of time, the place became lush again, just like before the battle. If you hadn't seen it with your own eyes, no one would believe that there was a big battle here. This, what kind of power is this? Could this be the power of the ancestor of the ninja? Zhang Yu easily destroyed the huge meteorite in front of him and restored the surrounding environment, like everything rejuvenated, which surprised both Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara. This kind of weird and powerful power, even the two of them can't do it. It is very easy to destroy a thing, but it is difficult for even them to restore it. I don't know, what plans do you two have in the future? After finishing all this, Zhang Yu asked Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara. My ideal is to find peace. Now that I can see the birth of peace, I am content. I am already a dead person, and the dead should not interfere with this world. Senju Hashirama said with a cool face. My goal is the same as that of Hashirama. Peace has already appeared in the whole world and there is nothing worthy of our nostalgia. Uchiha Madara also said with emotion. Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama, no matter what they do, the idea of peace in their hearts has not changed. But now they have seen the birth of peace, so the obsession in their hearts has disappeared. The bodies of the two impure world reincarnations began to crack, and finally turned into a cloud of dust and disappeared here. The battle launched by the ninja alliance formed by the four major kingdoms was destroyed before it entered the territory of the Uzumaki kingdom. This is simply like a joke. And taking advantage of the four major ninja coalition forces to attack, Uzumaki country took the opportunity to launch an attack on the four major countries. The Uzumaki country's territory is rapidly expanding, and it soon became the most powerful country in the entire ninja world. As for other countries, facing the offensive of the country of Vortex, they can only shrink back and forth. It is even said that some countries have directly joined the country of Vortex. The country of Uzumaki has achieved unprecedented development and has already led the entire ninja world. With the establishment of the Red Doctrine of the Uzumaki Kingdom as the first year of the AD, the Uzumaki country established a new calendar for the entire ninja world. In the seventh year of Red, Uzumaki defeated the ninja alliance and expanded its territory. In the 8th year of Red, the Red Sand Scorpion of the Uzumaki Kingdom discovered the power of force, developed a steam engine, built a steam train, and the entire ninja world entered the Age of Steam. In the 9th year of Red, Orochimaru in the country of Uzumaki discovered microorganisms such as bacteria and developed various medicines for treating diseases. In the 12th year of Red, Orochimaru and the Red Sand Scorpion of the country of Vortex worked together to discover the application of electricity and developed various electrical appliances. The entire ninja world has entered the Electrical Age. In the 22nd year of Red, according to the transmission of Chakra, the country of Vortex discovered information transmission technology, and the appearance of the first computer marked the beginning of the information age. Red 23 years, the mobile phone appeared. Red 24 years. Every year, the country of Uzumaki undergoes rapid changes, and the entire ninja world undergoes earth-shaking changes under the leadership of the country of Uzumaki. In the blink of an eye, we have come to Red 38 years. In the huge palace in the center of Uzumaki City, Senju Tsunade blasted a room open with a punch. Zhang Yu. Where did the B asterisk 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 D Zhang Yu go? Leave the country of the vortex and run away. Tsunade said angrily, after a lot of effort, Tsunade finally caught Conan. Seeing Conan's flushed face and awkward walking, Tsunade immediately smelled a familiar smell. Zhang Yu, that B asterisk 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 D, did he attack you? Hearing Tsunade's words, Conan's face became even redder, and he didn't dare to hide anything, bowed his head and said, it's my self-care. Cut, this B asterisk 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 D, forget it, cheat this B asterisk 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 D. Do you know where Zhang Yu is? Tsunade looked at Conan and said helplessly. At this time, Kashina and Makoto also rushed over from a distance. Sister Tsunade, haven't you found Zhang Yu yet? Today is the annual Uzumaki land celebration, so is he going to be absent this year? Makoto and Kashina also said helplessly. HMPH, he can't be absent today. I already have a solution, let's go to Sister Kegaya. Tsunade took all the girls to find Otsutsuki Kegaya. At this time, Otsutsuki Kegaya looked like an otaku, playing an online game called, Ninja League. Damn it, I lost again, why are there so many pitfalls in this game? Don't let me know who cheated on me. Otsutsuki Kegaya said very angrily. It can be said that since the birth of computers and the development of online games, Otsutsuki Kegaya, the ancestor of ninjas, has been obsessed with online games. Sister Kegaya, hurry up and find Zhang Yu. 383. Zhang Yu, that B asterisk 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 D, I don't know where he went. Tsunade came to Otsutsuki Kegaya and said. 
Otsutsuki Kegaya is the ancestor of the ninja world, and it can be said that everything in the entire ninja world is under her control. Zhang Yu can avoid the sight of Tsunade and others, but cannot avoid Kegaya. Oh, has it disappeared again? It must have gone to a certain family to find. Let me see where hers are. Otsutsuki Kegaya immediately activated her powerful power, and everything in the entire ninja world appeared in her perception. The residents of the Hyuga clan. Zhang Yu looked at the innocent and cute little girl in front of him and said with a smile. Little sister, what's your name? My name is Hinata, who is the big brother, the cute little girl said simply. Hinata, what a good name. Big brother is a good person, do you want to play with big brother? Wei Yu looked at the little lowly in front of him and said with a smile. But at this moment, Zhang Yu felt a wave of perception passing over his body. No, I was discovered by Kegaya again. Zhang Yu seemed to feel something, his body twisted, and he disappeared here in an instant. A moment later, Tsunade brought the girls to kill him. Chapter 237, The Dragon Becomes a Beauty. Ishgar Continent, X765, in a forest. The surrounding space distorted for a while, and a black hole appeared here. The black hole is dark and deep, and it looks like it leads to another space. A figure came out of the distorted black hole. Hey, it seems to be a success, this should be another world. Zhang Yu felt the surrounding environment and thought to himself. In the ninja world, Zhang Yu is already an invincible existence, and Zhang Bao can be said to have all the power tombs in the entire ninja world. Therefore, Zhang Yu wanted to try whether he could break the space barrier and enter other worlds by relying on his own strength. Zhang Yu tried several times but ended in failure, but Zhang Yu did not give up and was still using his space ability. After trying thousands of times, Zhang Yu finally opened a space tunnel. After passing through this space tunnel, Zhang Yu found himself in a strange place. There is no doubt that Zhang Yu succeeded, and Zhang Yu really came to another world relying on his own powerful strength. I don't know what world this is. It seems that we need to find someone to ask first. There is a powerful energy in that direction. Zhang Yu rushed towards the depths of the forest. At this time, there is a huge creature in the forest. This is a dragon, a giant dragon with pink scales and white scales. The giant dragon lay there, exuding a powerful aura all over its body. All the creatures in the surrounding forest were trembling with fright and kept running away. But at this moment, the giant dragon seemed to sense something, suddenly opened his eyes, and looked into the distance. Sure enough, after a while, Zhang Yu slowly walked out from a distance. This is, dragon, there are dragons in this world. Zhang Yu looked at the giant dragon in front of him curiously, and muttered. Through Zhang Yu's powerful perception ability, Zhang Yu quickly judged that the dragon in front of him is very powerful, equivalent to the tail beast in the world of Hokage. Human, who are you? What are you doing here? Seeing the sudden appearance of humans constantly looking at themselves, the giant dragon asked vigilantly. The sound made by the giant dragon was not the roar of a wild beast, but the voice of a mature woman. My name is Zhang Yu. Zhang Yu continued to look at the dragon in front of him and said. For some reason, although the giant dragon in front of him looked huge and frightening, Zhang Yu still felt a sense of beauty in her body. Zhang Yu. Hearing Zhang Yu's name, the giant dragon also looked at Zhang Yu suspiciously. The giant dragon is the top creature in this world. Anyone or creature will be scared to death when they see a giant dragon. And it was the first time she met someone like Zhang Yu who was not afraid of herself at all, but stared at her curiously. Humans, get out of here immediately. Otherwise, you will die here, the dragon threatened Zhang Yu. At the same time, he raised his dragon claw and slapped the ground fiercely, where a huge deep pit appeared. Hee hee, don't be so guarded. I have no malicious intentions. Hearing the danger of the dragon, Zhang Yu not only did not leave, but continued to walk towards the dragon, as if he was not afraid of her danger at all. This is the first intelligent creature that Zhang Yu encountered in this world, and of course Zhang Yu must get the information he wants from him. Human, you are too presumptuous, since you don't plan to leave. Then die here. Seeing Zhang Yu still looking at him presumptuously, the giant dragon immediately became angry, and attacked Zhang Yu, and slapped Zhang Yu with its huge dragon claw. It's really violent. It seems that if you don't subdue you, you can't get the news I want. If that's the case, I won't be polite. Sealing technique, 8 gate chain. Looking at the giant dragon attacking him, Zhang Yu waved his right hand, and a powerful energy surged out of him. These violent energy turned into chains of energy and rushed towards the dragon. Soon the chain directly tied up the dragon. This. What's going on here? What kind of magic is this, it can actually seal the power in my body. While being bound by chains, the giant dragon found that the power in his body had stagnated, and it was difficult to use it at all. You should be honest now. Zhang Bao said with a smile, looking at the giant dragon tied up by five flowers. Quote dot quote. HMPH, human, your power is really weird. Don't think that you can defeat me. Additional magic strength addition. A huge magic circle suddenly appeared around the dragon, and a powerful energy fell on the magic circle. In an instant, the dragon's momentum and strength increased several times, and the powerful strength of the dragon directly broke free from Zhang Yu's chains. Really powerful. This feeling has already caught up with the power of nine tails in the Hokage ninja world. However, it's still useless. Be honest with me. Rinnegan, energy absorption. Zhang Yu's eyes changed rapidly, transforming into Rinnegan, instantly activated the power of Rinnegan, and began to absorb the power of me in front of him. What's going on here? My power. Why is my power disappearing? How is this possible? Wangs can actually absorb the power in the dragon's body. 
Feeling the passing power in the body, a shocked expression appeared in front of the dragon's eyes. With the passage of energy in the dragon's body, the body of the dragon changes rapidly and shrinks continuously. Eventually turned into a red-haired beauty, snuggled up on the grass. This, what's going on here? How did the dragon turn into a beautiful woman? Looking at the beautiful woman in front of him, Zhang Yu was also stunned. Zhang Yu just wanted to subdue the giant dragon in front of him, and absorb the power in his body to make her be more honest, but why the dragon turned into a bell? This, my body. After 400 years, my body has finally recovered. And the beautiful woman in front of her, looking at her hand, burst into tears of excitement, and her voice became trembling. Chapter 238 Fairy Tale Irene Belsarian, founder of Edition Magic and Dragon Slayer Magic, mother of Dragon Slayers. 400 years ago, the giant dragon ruled the whole world, and human beings were the food in the mouth of the giant dragon. Countless countries were destroyed under the attack of the giant dragon, and countless human beings were devoured by the giant dragon. In order to resist the attack of the giant dragon and protect her country, Irene developed additional magic, relying on the power of additional magic to attach the power of the dragon to people, and developed the dragon-killing magic. Relying on dragon-slaying magic, human beings gradually possessed the power to fight against dragons and defeated the invasion of giant dragons. And these mages who defeated the dragon were called dragon slayers. But with the use of dragon-slaying magic, the whole body of the dragon slayer wizards began to turn into dragons, gradually turning into giant dragons one by one. The former heroes became enemies, and humans began to attack the dragon slayer. Irene, as the pioneer of dragon slaying, also began to show the characteristics of a dragon in her body. The country she once guarded began to reject her, imprison her, and endure inhuman torture. In the end, Irene completely transformed into a dragon, completely destroyed her imprisoned country, and came to the deep mountains and old forests, where she stayed for hundreds of years. During these hundred years, Irene did not give up, and was looking for a way to transform back into a human, but all ended in failure. And with the continuous growth of the dragon power in her body, her strength is also rapidly increasing, and the dragon's body becomes stronger and stronger. Even if he wants to die now, it is very difficult. Today, as usual, Irene was resting in the forest, but at this moment, she felt a powerful aura rushing towards her. Eren instantly became alert. In the past hundred years, because of her identity as a giant dragon, many mages attacked her in the name of justice, but she killed them all. But what surprised Irene was that a very handsome person appeared in front of her, and he didn't attack her, but looked at her curiously. Since this person didn't attack her, Irene didn't bother to do anything and let the human being in front of her leave. But the person in front of him didn't leave. In this case, I can't blame Irene. Irene directly attacked this person. For a hundred years, Irene was also full of prejudice against humans. Since this person is looking for death, then I have fulfilled him. But what Irene didn't expect was that the strength of the person in front of her was astonishing. Not only did she easily subdue her, but she also absorbed the dragon power accumulated in her body for a hundred years. Losing the power of the dragon in her body, Irene's dragon body is also degrading, gradually turning into a human. Feeling the changes in her body and regaining her human senses, Irene showed an incredible expression on her face. Restoring her human body had been her wish for 400 years, but she never expected it to come true today. The wish for many years finally came true, and the excited Irene couldn't help crying. I finally recovered, this is the human body, I really recovered. Although the dragon's body is very powerful, it has lost human perception. Now she has finally regained her human body and felt human again. Ahem. Beauty, are you okay? Seeing Irene who was crying bitterly, Zhang Fengxi didn't know what to do for a moment. I suddenly made a beautiful woman cry, and I really look like a bad person now, and more importantly, because Irene has just transformed from a dragon body into a human body, and she has no clothes on her body. Are you okay? Zhang Yu came in front of Irene, and with a wave of his hand, a piece of clothing fell on him. I'm fine, I'm just too excited. Putting on the clothes and feeling the touch of the clothes, Irene showed an expression of enjoyment on her face. Beauty, I don't know what to call you. Zhang Yu looked at the beauty in front of him and asked. My name is Irene Belsarian. Zhang Yu helped her restore BICG, her human body, so she didn't hide the slightest bit, and directly told Zhang Yu her full name. Irene. This name looks familiar. Dragon. Irene. Magic. Looking at the beauty in front of him, Zhang Yu suddenly felt a little familiar. At this moment, ten auras flashed across his mind. Could this be the world of fairy tale? I really didn't expect that I came to this world. Since this is the world of fairy tale, the beauty in front of me is the mother of the fairy queen, the founder of Dragon Slayer, the woman known as the mother of Dragon Slayer. Zhang Yu looked Aaron thought very positively. Eileen, what is this place? What time is it now? Zhang Yu looked at Irene and asked. Yes, my lord. Zhang Yu helped Irene recover her human body, so Irene didn't hide anything, and told Zhang Yu everything she knew. After listening to Irene's words, Zhang Yu has a full understanding of this world. Zhang Yu did come to the world of fairy tale, and it was decades before the plot started, and the various protagonists had not yet been born. What are your plans in the future? Zhang Yu looked at Irene and said. I want to be by my lord's side, please help me restore my human body. Irene looked at Zhang Yu and said very respectfully. Although she has now turned into a human body, Irene is very clear that this is because Zhang Yu sucked all the dragon power from her body. 
but as time goes by, the dragon power in her body will recover, and she will become a dragon again, which is not what she wants to see. Therefore, the only way is to let Zhang Yu help him recover his body. Help you recover your body. What benefits do I have? Zhang Yu looked at Irene playfully. I. This. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Irene was taken aback. During these 400 years of solitude, she has long since lost everything, and her only wish now is to regain her human body. After struggling for a long time, Irene thought that the only person who could be moved and dealt with was herself. My lord, as long as you help me restore my human body, I am willing to treat myself. Irene gritted her teeth and looked at Zhang Yu and said. Ah, haha, it's just a joke, you don't need half a car. You just need to teach me magic. Before Irene could finish speaking, Zhang Yu directly interrupted her. Chapter 239, Mother of the Dragon Slayer Mage. A month passed in a blink of an eye. In a valley, Zhang Yu was standing at the corner of the valley. Water magic, water waves are overwhelming. A water blue magic circle appeared in front of Zhang Yu, and a wave of boiling water emerged from the magic circle. The boiling tide directly flooded the entire valley. Earth magic, turned upside down. Zhang Yu released his magic again, a khaki magic circle surrounded the whole valley, the terrain of the whole valley kept changing, and soon the whole valley turned into a lake. Master Zhang Yu, I didn't expect you to master these two powerful magics so quickly. Irene came out from a distance, and looked at Zhang Yu with admiration. During this month, Irene has been by Zhang Yu's side, teaching Zhang Yu the magic of this world. But no matter what kind of magic it is, as long as Zhang Yu learns it, he can master it instantly and release it without hindrance. This surprised Irene, and even said that she felt very incredible. As a person who has lived for 400 years, Irene has also seen many magical geniuses. But it was the first time she met someone like Zhang Yu who learned magic in an instant. Seeing Zhang Yu's talent, Irene believed even more that as long as she stayed by Zhang Yu's side, she would be able to truly become a human. Irene, you are here. It seems that the power of the dragon appeared in your body again. Seeing the dragon scales constantly emerging from Irene's arm, Zhang Yu immediately attacked, and activated Rinnegan's power at the same time, absorbing the dragon's power in his body. After losing the power of the dragon, the characteristics of the dragon on Irene disappeared. Although Irene has recovered her human body now, but this is temporary, because of the characteristics of dragon slaying magic, Irene's body is producing dragon power all the time. When the power of the dragon accumulates to a certain level, the characteristics of a dragon will appear on her body, and it is even said that she will turn into a dragon again in the end. Dragon slayer magic, it's such an annoying power. Looking at her recovered body, Irene said very annoyed. The reason why she looks like this has a lot to do with dragon slayer magic. Irene, in fact, as long as you practice the dragon slaying magic to the full level, you should be able to switch between humans and giant dragons. Zhang Yu looked at Irene and said. Zhang Yu is very clear that in the world of fairy tale there is indeed a dragon that can freely change form, and he is the black dragon. Cultivate to the full level. This is such a difficult thing. Irene said helplessly. It is easy to practice magic, but it is very difficult to practice it to the full level. Want to cultivate to the full level. I have a way. Zhang Yu looked at Irene and said. What way? Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Irene's eyes lit up. That's who will become me. Zhang Yu looked at Irene and said with a smile. What? To be your person? How can this be? Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Irene's face turned red. During this month, Irene was indeed full of affection for Zhang Yu, but now Zhang Yu suddenly wanted her to become Zhang Yu's woman, and now she felt shy all over her face. Haha, Irene, you are so beautiful. Let's go. I've been in the forest for a month. It's time to see the human city, and you need to change your clothes. Your clothes don't match your appearance. Zhang Yu looked at Irene and said with a chuckle, walking towards the distance. And Irene was full of shyness, and quickly followed Zhang Yu in small steps, and a sense of happiness was released from her heart. But just before catching up with Zhang Yu, she brushed her belly with her fingertips with a dejected expression. Leaving the forest, Zhang Yu and Irene soon came to a town. In a magic clothing store. When Irene came out of the fitting room, all the worn clothes disappeared, and a beautiful beauty appeared in front of her. She was wearing a black-trimmed magic robe, red knee-high boots, and her long red hair was braided. The current Irene is really beautiful and sexy concentrated in the whole body, if there is another magic staff in her hand, she will be exactly the same as her in the, twelve shields of guards, in later generations. Ask for flowers. But even so, Irene's dress at this time is still unforgettable. Sir, your wife's dress is so appropriate. This is a magic robe crafted from the fur of the black steel tiger from the extreme north. The waitress immediately said to Zhang Yu's side. Hearing the waitress call herself Zhang Yu's wife, Irene blushed, turned her pretty face to the side, and touched her belly unnaturally. Well said. But I don't have any money. Zhang Yu said, looking at everyone in the room. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, everyone was taken aback, even Irene looked at Zhang Yu in disbelief. Zero. You, you have no money. Of course I don't have any money. I met you as soon as I came here. How can I have money? Zhang Yu said innocently. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Irene was also embarrassed, because Irene also had no money. Irene has been in the form of a dragon for a hundred years. In the forest, she doesn't need money at all, and Zhang Yu just came to this world and has no money. Then what should we do now? Irene looked at Zhang Yu and asked. Of course I ran away. Zhang Yu pulled Irene and disappeared here in an instant. 
The people in the store were stunned, and it took a few breaths before they realized that someone had escaped the order, and the owner of the store yelled heart piercingly, Ah, someone robbed the clothes, hurry up and catch him. You, you actually ran away with me. Irene looked at Zhang Yu and didn't know what to say for a while. Irene used to be a queen, and now she is also a powerful mage. She has never encountered anything before, but this is the first time she has experienced it like today. Well, isn't it very exciting? Zhang Yu looked at Irene and said with a smile. This, is really exciting. Irene said with some aftertaste. Since it's exciting, let's do something more exciting. Let's go eat Bawang meal. Zhang Yu pulled Irene towards a restaurant. Chapter 240, The Birth of Urza. In the days that followed, Zhang Yu and Irene were traveling in the mountains and rivers, and their laughter and laughter were left everywhere in the city. Irene spends every day in laughter, and she hasn't felt so happy for a long time. Zhang Yu, I am so happy to meet you. Irene said excitedly, nestling in Zhang Yu's arms. Irene, I know your experience, don't worry. No matter what happens, I will never abandon you. Zhang Yu looked at Irene and said very solemnly. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, the happiness in Irene's heart was even more overwhelming, but amidst this kind of happiness, Irene still had a little haze in her heart. His hands involuntarily brushed his lower abdomen. Because in Irene's body, a life is being born. In the past, Irene relied on her powerful strength to suppress the life in her body because she was in the form of a, 370, dragon. But now because Zhang Yu has absorbed the dragon power in her body, she can no longer suppress the birth of this life. She didn't want to be happy because of the birth of this life. So in the middle of the night, Irene quietly left Zhang Yu's side and walked towards the depths of the forest. This silly woman. Not long after Irene left, Zhang Yu opened his eyes. Zhang Yu already knew about the life in Irene's body, and this life was the future fairy queen Urza. Zhang Yu knew very well that Irene hated Urza very much. Although she didn't kill Urza at that time, she also left her outside. And now that Zhang Yu appeared here, of course Zhang Yu would not let this kind of thing happen again. After Irene left Zhang Yu, she came to a cave in a canyon. Soon there was a scream in the whole cave. The whole sound lasted for a quarter of an hour, and accompanied by the crying of a baby, Irene's cry also ended. In the cave, in front of Irene, a baby girl appeared. This is Aaron's daughter. But seeing the baby girl in front of her, Irene not only didn't have the slightest joy, but looked indifferent. Your disaster, I will not let you ruin my present happiness. Go to hell with me. Speaking of the condensed magic in Irene's hands, she was about to kill the baby girl. But when the magic was about to hit the baby, the motherhood in Irene's heart awakened, and she withdrew the magic in her hand. Let's find a place to throw it away. Irene said with a sigh. This baby represents the nightmare she experienced in the past. Although Irene will not kill her, she will definitely not raise him like a normal mother. It would be a pity to lose such a lovely daughter. At this moment, Zhang Yu appeared and picked up the baby. You, Zhang Yu, why did you appear here? Looking at Zhang Yu, Irene's whole body trembled. The reason why Irene secretly left Zhang Yu was to secretly throw away the baby in her body, but now Zhang Bao actually found out. She was afraid that Zhang Yu would abandon her because of this, and she would discover something like a nightmare again. Apparently Zhang Yu also knew about Irene's scruples, so he came to her side and said comfortingly. Don't worry, Irene, I said I would never abandon you. And you have such a beautiful daughter. Zhang Yu said with a smile, teasing the baby in his arms. And the little baby also laughed when he felt Zhang Yu's movements. Zhang Yu, you are so kind. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Irene finally let go of her hanging heart, and tears flowed from the corners of her excited eyes. Okay, Aaron, let's go back. You need to rest now. Zhang Yu said to Irene. In this way, Zhang Yu returned to the city with the baby and Irene in his arms. But along the way, Irene was still very hostile to the baby in Bao's arms. Zhang Yu, lose her, she is a nightmare, I can't let this nightmare disturb the happiness of the two of us. Irene gritted her teeth and said. Irene, what nonsense are you talking? How can such a cute girl be called a nightmare? Since you don't want it, then leave it to me. Let's name her something. Zhang Yu looked at the baby in his arms and said. Whatever. Hearing that Zhang Yu didn't want to lose the baby, Irene didn't say much. Quote exclamation mark question mark dot 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 dot. Let's call it Urza. Aluza Belsarian, how about using your surname? Zhang Yu thought of a name and asked Irene. No, she is not qualified to use my surname. Hearing Zhang Yu's name, Irene refused without thinking. Irene has always regarded this baby as a nightmare, wishing to get rid of her relationship, so she will never allow herself to have anything to do with this baby. Do you disagree? Then change the name. Aluza Sukaleto, it just matches her red name very well. Zhang Yu thought for a while and finally decided to use the name in Urza's original work. Just like that, there was another baby between Zhang Yu and Irene. Because of Urza's birth, Irene really opened her heart and became Zhang Yu's woman. As his own woman, Zhang Yu certainly couldn't treat her badly. So Zhang Yu immediately activated the power of the system to help Irene improve her power. Ding, new character template, Irene Belsarian. Abilities that can be improved, Dragon Slayer 4.9 Magic, Additional Magic. Whether to activate the instant full level ability, upgrade to full level. Yes. As Zhang Yu's voice fell, Irene felt the two magic powers in her body increase rapidly, and instantly reached the full level, making it easier to master. This. Zhang Yu. What's going on? The magic power in my body. 
The sudden increase in power also surprised Irene. Eileen don't be surprised, this is my strength. Don't you want to raise the dragon power in your body to the full level? Now I've done it for you. Zhang Yu hugged Irene and said. Zhang Yu, you are so kind. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Irene threw herself on Zhang Yu's body. When Zhang Yu and Irene kissed Nini, there was a burst of baby crying. Chapter 241 Say Hello. B asterisk 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 D, you damn B asterisk 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 D, I'm going to kill you. The good thing was interrupted, and the angry Irene was about to kill Urza. Eileen, don't be impulsive. Alusha is hungry. Zhang Yu looked at Irene and said pointedly. HMPH, don't look at me, I won't feed her. If you find it troublesome, just throw her away. Irene said with a cold face. Um, let me find something for Urza to eat. Zhang Yu left here with Urza in his arms, and began to look for Urza's food. As for why he left with Urza in his arms, Zhang Yu was afraid that Irene would really kill her, and Zhang Yu didn't want the future fairy queen to die in his hands. In the end, Zhang Yu found a beast like a female leopard, and finally solved Urza's problem. After eating, Urza also fell asleep. Looking at the young Arusa, who was 18 years old, Zhang Yu knew that he should help her find a place to live. As for where, Zhang Yu had already had an idea, and that was fairy tale. Anyway, in the original book, Urza grew up in this guild, so it's not a bad idea to send her to this guild in advance. In the train, Zhang Yu looked at the half-dead Irene and felt quite interested. Now that they decided to send Urza to Fairy Tail, Zhang Yu and Irene got on the train to Magnolia the next day. But not long after the train started, Irene got motion sickness and looked half-dead. Zhang Yu put his hand on Irene's body, a wave of vitality entered her body, her pale face turned rosy. Irene, are you feeling better? Zhang Yu looked at Irene and asked with a chuckle. Hem. Irene replied weakly, closing her eyes and snuggling into Zhang Yu's arms. It's disgusting, Zhang Yu, let's get out of here. I can directly transform into a dragon and take you flying. Irene said weakly. Irene, since we want to experience life, of course we can't use magic. I didn't expect a powerful mage like you to be motion sick. This is a side effect of the dragon slaying magic. Zhang Yu looked at Irene and said with a smile. I don't know. There was no such means of transportation before. We all used magic power to travel. Irene said. Hold on, we will arrive soon. Zhang Yu said to Irene. With the sound of brakes, Irene and Zhang Yu got off the train. The moment I got out of the car, Irene returned to normal in an instant, which not only made Zhang Yu complain, but Dragon Slayer is really weird. Magnolia is an extremely prosperous city in the entire kingdom. With the Fairy Tail Guild, the whole city is full of vitality. At this time, Naz and the others probably haven't joined the guild. The current president of the guild should be that little old man Carlos the horse, let's say hello to him first. Thinking of this, a powerful aura erupted from Zhang Yu's body, directly covering the entire city of Magnolia. At this time, in the Guild of Fairy Tail, the guild leader Carlos Ma is bragging and drinking with the members of the guild. At the same time, a powerful momentum fell from the sky and pressed down on them. The wine glass in Ma Karloff's hand shattered directly, and the wine ruined him all over. But at this moment, he was not in the mood to take care of the drink on his body, instead he became vigilant all over. This. What's going on here? It's so powerful. The momentum of this magic power is too powerful. Ma Karloff and Gildas, the strong man in the guild, thought about it one by one. As for the weak mages like Macau, they were directly stunned by the powerful momentum, trembling in place. President, what's going on here? Could it be that someone strong has come to Magnolia? What is he doing? Does he want to launch an attack on our guild? I don't know, you are here to prepare for the battle, I went out to have a look. Carlos Ma said, and quickly left the guild, heading towards Zhang Bao's direction. Soon came to Zhang Yu and Irene. Two strong men, the guild master of fairy tale, Mr. Carlo. I don't know how expensive it is for two strong men to come to our town of Magnolia. Carlos Ma looked at Zhang Yu and Irene and said very respectfully. On Irene and Zhang Yu's body, Carlos Ma felt a powerful magic power. This magic power was so powerful that even himself, who was the Holy Cross, felt terrified. We came here just to find you. Zhang Yu looked at Carlos the horse and said. Look for me. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Carlo Ma became confused. He didn't know the two people in front of him at all. Irene, go and test his strength, be careful not to kill him. Zhang Yu said to Irene beside him. Yes. Master Zhang Yu, 760. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Irene directly attacked the horseman Carlo without the slightest hesitation. Additional magic explosion. Irene pointed at Zhang Yu's horse Carlo with the magic wand, and a powerful heat burst out, forming a huge impact and rushing towards the horse Carlo. What's going on here? Why did the two of them attack me? Facing Irene's sudden attack, Ma Karloff was very puzzled, but he also released his magic quickly. Light magic, bulwark of light. In front of Ma Karloff, a golden magic circle appeared, and a piece of golden light gathered to form a huge shield, successfully blocking Irene's attack. Is it blocked? Heat and light shock. Irene's magic was released again, and a huge energy light sphere attacked the horse Carlo. The huge energy light sphere exploded, forming a powerful impact, which directly defeated the light energy shield in front of the horse Carlo. At the same time, the powerful impact knocked the horse back. Carlos flew out. Damn it, what are you doing? After being attacked twice in a row, even the horseman Karloff, who has a better temper, is now angry. 
But Irene didn't answer, and still launched a fierce attack on the horse Carlo. Chapter 242, Beaten to Death. Additional Magic, Air Edition, Thermal Shock. Additional Magic, Ground Edition, Shock Wave. Irene constantly released the nearby magic that she was good at, flames, ice, and shock waves continuously approached the surrounding objects, and launched an attack on the horse Carlo. Facing these violent attacks, Carlos the horse did not show any weakness, and also used all his magic to meet them. Barrier of Light, Light Shock, the magic of the two collided with each other, setting off a burst of huge explosions, and the entire area was flattened by the impact of the magic collision. Damn it, who the hell is she? I've never heard of such a powerful female wizard in the magic world. Why did she attack me? I don't seem to have offended her. Carlos Ma looked at Irene vigilantly. Through this fight, Carlos Ma was very sure that the strength of the female wizard in front of him was very strong, even surpassing Shungi himself. This made Ma Karlov feel very strange. He was usually very kind and had never offended anyone. The two men attacked him when they saw him. What did they mean? But no matter what, since the person in front of him is attacking him, he can't sit still. Titan magic, titanization. Thinking of this, Ma Karlov used the magic that he was most proud of now, and his body rapidly expanded and became bigger. The originally short body immediately turned into a titan, and the magic power in the body also increased several times. Is this titan magic? The strength has also increased several times. Looking at the titan in front of her, Irene also said in surprise. Two strong men, is there some misunderstanding between us? We can talk about it. After becoming a titan, Ma Karloff did not rush to attack, but offered to reconcile. Because Ma Karloff knew very well that if there was a real battle between himself and the two people in front of him, it would be a catastrophic scene. The battle between the Holy Cross is not something any city can bear, and the entire town may be destroyed by then. Haha, ha, do you think you can defeat me like this? The warm-up is over, now it's time to get serious. Irene said disdainfully, looking at the stable Carlo who had transformed into a titan in front of her. Really? What does this mean? Hearing Irene's words, Ma Karloff suddenly had a bad feeling. Isn't the fierce battle just now considered serious? Dragon transformation. A powerful magic power burst out from Irene's body, the huge magic power went straight to the sky, and the powerful magic power made the surrounding ground shake. Surrounded by huge magic power, Irene's whole body changed rapidly. In the end, it turned into a mighty and elegant holy dragon. This, how is this possible? She is a dragon. Looking at the giant dragon in front of him and feeling the powerful power emanating from the dragon, Carlos Ma was also frightened. The giant dragon, this is a legendary creature, one of the most powerful creatures in the entire magic world. Ma Karloff never imagined that one day he would meet the legendary dragon. Hey, take the move. The roar of the holy dragon. Energy surged in the huge dragon's mouth, and a powerful explosion rushed towards Karloff the horse. The violent energy flame devoured everything along the way, and anything that blocked the roar was turned into ashes. Not good. Defensive magic, three pillars of God. Seeing Irene's attack, Ma Karloff also knew that he could not save his strength, and immediately used the most powerful defensive magic now. Three huge energy columns surrounded the surrounding area, forming a powerful defensive magic circle. At this moment, Aaron's attack came. The violent dragon roared and bombarded the defensive magic circle, and there was a huge explosion, and the entire defensive magic circle shook violently. However, it finally blocked Irene's attack. Just when Ma Karloff was about to breathe a sigh of relief, Irene's attack came again. The hook claw of the holy dragon. The huge dragon claw slapped directly at Carlos the horse. The power of the dragon claw directly destroyed the defensive magic circle in front of Carlos the horse. At the same time, the attack continued unabated towards Carlos the horse. PFF'd. I saw Ma Karloff flying upside down, spitting blood at his mouth, and smashed a huge deep hole on the ground. The titan magic was also released, and Carlo's body quickly shrunk, turning into the appearance of a little old man. Ma Karloff is very miserable now, his whole body is covered with blood, and most of the bones in his body are broken. If it weren't for the strength of the Holy Cross, he might have died by now. But just like that, he still has half his life left. After the attack, Irene released her dragon form and regained her slender figure. Quote dot quote. Irene, are you attacking too hard? You won't kill him. Looking at the horseman Carlo in the deep pit in the distance, Zhang Yu said worriedly. Don't worry, I'll keep my hand in the end, he shouldn't die. But his strength is really too weak. Irene said indifferently as she brushed her red hair. Originally, Zhang Yu just wanted Irene to show off her strength in front of Carlos the horse, but he didn't expect to make Carlos the horse half dead. Hey, old man, are you dead? Zhang Yu came to the edge of the deep pit and asked Carlo, who was half dead in the deep pit. Ahem, who are you, why the one who won the king, attacked me? Mrs. Carlo coughed, spurted out a mouthful of blood, and became more depressed. Although Ma Karloff is not dead now, he still has half his life left. If he is not treated, he may really die here today. It seems that you are going to die, let me treat you first. With a wave of Zhang Yu's hand, the huge vitality of the Japanese stocks burst out. Under the huge vitality, Carlos Ma's injuries recovered quickly at a speed visible to the naked eye, that is, within a few breaths, Carlos Ma's injuries fully recovered. But this is not the end, the vitality continues to restore everything around. The surrounding buildings, trees, and animals also recovered quickly. It looked like time had flown back, and the surroundings were completely restored to their appearance before the battle. 
Even though no one would believe it, there was a big war here. Chapter 243 Meeting Layla on the Road. Interesting for you. Selena Gomez posts powerful bikini then and now. More. 195. 49. 65. After recovering from the injury, Ma Karloff looked at Zhang Yu and Irene very puzzled. What are these two people going to do in front of them, beat themselves up to serious injuries, and then heal themselves, is it just me trying to flatter myself? Carlo the horse, the president of fairy tale. Zhang Yu looked at Carlos the horse and said. Yes, I don't know what the two of you are going to do. Ma Karloff looked at Irene and Zhang Yu and said vigilantly. After the fight just now, Carlos Ma knew very well that he was no match for these two people in front of him at all. I have something important to give you. This is Urza Sukaleto, I will leave it to you later. Zhang Yu handed the little Urza in his arms to the horseman Carlo. Give me. A baby. Looking at Urza in his arms, Carlos the horse is still in a daze, not knowing what Zhang Yu meant. The fairy tale guild is very suitable for her growth. You have to take good care of her. If something goes wrong with her, your entire guild will die. Zhang Yu looked at Ma Karloff and said, at the same time a powerful aura erupted from Zhang Yu's body. 247 In an instant, Carlos Ma felt his whole body was icy cold, as if he had entered hell. Ma Karloff had no doubt that if Zhang Yu really wanted to kill him, he would have no power to resist at all. Yes, I understand. Is this girl your child? Carlos Ma looked at the red hair of the baby in his arms, and at the red hair of Zhang Yu and Irene, and naturally regarded Urza as their child. Shut up, I have nothing to do with her. Irene said angrily when she heard what Ma Karloff said. Okay, Aaron, stop using. By the way, this is my gift to Urza. Zhang Yu held his right hand, and a long sword appeared in Zhang Yu's hand. Thunder and lightning surged on the long sword, and it looked extraordinary. This is, royal thunder. After Urza masters the magic, you can leave it to her. Zhang Yu's strength has now reached the top level, so the magic weapon he once built is useless to Zhang Yu, so Zhang Yu simply gave it to Urza. Zhang Yu Bibi remembers that Urza is good at dress-up magic, so she just needs a powerful weapon. Yes, I see. Ma Karloff took the weapon very respectfully. Irene, let's go. Zhang Yu explained to the groom Carlo again, and left here with Irene. Seeing that Zhang Yu and Irene had finally left, Carlos Ma finally breathed a sigh of relief. In front of the two superpowers Zhang Yu and Irene, Ma Karloff felt Alexander. President. What's going on here? What happened? Are you all right? At this time, other members of the fairy tale guild came, looked at Ma Karloff and asked with concern. Don't worry. Everyone, I'm fine. This is Urza, she will be a member of our guild from now on. Ma Karloff said to everyone. A baby. President, why did you bring back a baby after going out for a trip? This can't be your illegitimate child. I really didn't expect that the elders of the council should be strong. Tisk tisk, when believes it. The members of the fairy tale guild have a very good relationship with each other. It can be seen that Carlos the horse was not injured, and there was no sign of a big fight around. All of them were joking at Carlos the horse. What nonsense are you bastards? Alusha's parents are super strong, please don't cause trouble for me. Ma Karloff said with some fear. In this way, Urza joined the fairy tale guild. After arranging Urza in fairy tales guild, Zhang Yu and Irene are still traveling around. Of course, Zhang Yu has the advantage of playing with Irene, Zhang Yu is not idle, and is also learning the magic of this world. And because of Zhang Yu's instant full level system, no matter what magic Zhang Yu learns, he is very fast and can instantly increase to full level. Even Zhang Yu has cultivated to the full level of dragon slaying magic, and the power of dragon appears in his body, Zhang Yu can become a giant dragon at any time. Zhang Yu discovers the dragon slayer magic and the power of the tailed beast in the world of Hokage in some detail. All of them can directly change the form of people. The power of the tailed beast can turn the user into a tailed beast, and the dragon slayer magic can turn the user into a giant dragon. One day, when Zhang Yu and Irene were walking through a forest, there was a sound of fighting in the distance. Hey, someone is fighting, let's go and see. Zhang Yu rushed in the direction of Irene's instant voice. When Zhang Yu came here, he found a blonde girl fighting a monster that looked like a giant wolf. Because of the existence of magic at this time, the animals in this world have also changed, becoming more powerful monsters than ordinary ones. These monsters have brought a great threat to ordinary people, so the mission of the magician to crusade against monsters was born. There is no doubt that the blonde girl in front of her is on a mission to crusade against monsters. It just seemed that the blonde girl in front of her was at a disadvantage. Turn it on. Aquarius. A golden key appeared in the blonde girl's hand, and she thrust it forcefully into the nearby pool, a golden magic circle emerged, and a mermaid holding a vase appeared there. Akuya, attack with water. Clear. Under the order of the blonde girl, the mermaid raised the vase in her hand, and a wave of water emerged, heading towards the blue wolf. But Qinglang's reaction speed was very fast, and he easily dodged the attack with a jump. Layla, this beast is too fast. My attack is useless at all, and your magic power is almost exhausted, so you can't launch a large-scale attack. Let's withdraw first, the beauty said to the blonde girl. Damn it, this is my first mission since I left home. I don't want to just give up, the blonde girl named Layla said unwillingly. Chapter 244 How should you thank me? Zhang Yu, who was hiding in the dark, was observing the blonde girl in front of him. The more Zhang Yu looked at it, the more he felt that this beauty was very familiar. Protoss magic, blonde girl, isn't this Lucy? No, Lucy hasn't been born yet. 
Since she's not Lucy, then she should be Lucy's mother. Thinking of this, Zhang Yu couldn't help but smile. I didn't expect that I was so lucky. First I met Aaron's mother Irene, and now I met Lucy's mother. Now that he met Zhang Yu, of course he couldn't let him go. Layla Hartfilia was born into an aristocratic family. The Hartfilia family, this is the most powerful nobleman in the Fiori Kingdom, they control the business of the entire kingdom, and it is not an exaggeration to say that they are invincibly rich. However, Layla, who was born in rich clothes and good food, did not want to be a noble lady, but wanted to be a magician, so she kept practicing star spirit magic. Relying on the power of the family, she also got several zodiac keys. After feeling that she had a certain strength, Layla secretly left her family and joined a wizard's guild. As soon as she came to the guild, Layla didn't hesitate at all, and immediately received a task to exterminate the monster Blue Wolf. But because of his inexperience in the first mission, he was no match for Qinglang at all. Layla, don't hesitate, let's go. With your current strength, you are no match for this monster at all. If you don't leave, you will be in trouble. The Protoss of Aquarius said to Layla. Okay then, let's retreat quickly. Layla lifted the magic of the Protoss, and the Protoss in front of her disappeared. Layla put away the key and was about to retreat. But this blue wolf didn't intend to let Layla go like this, its huge body leapt forward, blocking Layla's way. HMPH, Lord Wolf wants to leave after attacking, how can there be such a cheap thing? Judging by the appearance of your thin skin and tender meat, the taste must be very good. A fierce light flashed in Qinglang's eyes, and he rushed towards Layla. Not good. Facing the oncoming green wolf, Layla also reacted very quickly, dodging quickly, but there was still a wound on her white arm, blood flowed out, and the pain was burning. Without the help of the Protoss, Layla is now completely at a disadvantage. Under the constant attack of the green wolf, Layla's whole body was covered with injuries, and she leaned tiredly on a big tree, looking very pitiful. Now Layla is regretting her death. She never thought that being a wizard is so dangerous. Could it be that she is going to die here today? I don't have a boyfriend yet, so I didn't expect to die. Qinglang also knew that Layla was dying, so he opened his ferocious fangs and turned towards the doctor. Seeing that Layla was about to be killed by the wolf, Zhang, who was hiding in the dark, finally made a move. Fire magic, fireball. A huge great fireball appeared in an instant, and the blazing flames directly swallowed the entire blue wolf. The blue wolf didn't even have a chance to scream, it was directly swallowed by the flames and turned into ashes. After dealing with the blue wolf, Zhang Yu and Irene came out from the darkness of the forest. Looking at the two people who came out, Layla knew that she was saved, and just when she was about to get up to thank her, she touched the wound on her body, and the severe pain made her gasp. Are you injured? Let me heal you first. Healing magic, full body recovery. A cyan magic circle enveloped Layla, and her injuries recovered quickly. In just a few breaths, Layla's injuries all recovered. This, all the injuries in my body have recovered. Thank you so much. Feeling that the injuries all over her body had recovered, a smile appeared on Layla's face. Really? Then how do you thank me? Looking at Layla, Zhang Yu said with a smile. E.H. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Layla didn't know how to answer for a while. It was just a polite remark, and ordinary people would not take it seriously, but Zhang Yu asked how he thanked him, which made the corner of Layla's mouth twitch. How do you want me to thank you? Layla looked at Zhang Yu and asked. Asking for flowers. Hmm. This is the grace of saving my life, shouldn't you agree with me? Zhang Yu looked at Layla and said pointedly. What? How is this possible? Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Layla yelled instantly, and the good feelings she had for Zhang Yu saving her disappeared instantly. Nothing is impossible, from now on you are mine. Zhang Yu looked at Layla and said with certainty. What? Since when did I belong to you? I want to leave here. Layla got up and was about to leave here, but how could Zhang Yu let her leave like this? He he, this is beyond your control. Magic body control. Zhang Yu pointed at Layla, and a magic circle fell on Layla's body in an instant, and Yula instantly felt that his body was out of control. What the hell is going on? What have you done to my body? Sensing the changes in her body, Layla's face became flustered. Now you can't escape. Take me to the nearest city. Zhang Yu smiled at Layla. Although Layla resisted Zhang Yu's order very much now, his body still followed Zhang Yu's order and led Zhang Bao to the distance. Damn it, you be asterisk 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 d, quickly undo the magic on me. You be asterisk 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 d. Along the way, Layla kept yelling at Zhang Yu, but no matter how Layla scolded, Zhang Yu was not angry, but looked at Layla with interest. Layla, you look so cute, you are exactly like your daughter. Zhang Yu looked at Layla and said with a smile. At this time, Layla is exactly the same as Lucy in the original book, whether it is her tone of voice or her demeanor. Daughter, you be asterisk 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 d, what nonsense are you talking? How could I have a daughter, she is innocent. Layla said, looking at Zhang Yu with a flushed face. Ha ha, not now, maybe in the future. Zhang Yu looked at Layla and said with a smile, which made Layla's face even more red. Chapter 245 Layla's call for help. Interesting for you. Selena Gomez posts powerful bikini then and now. More. 787. 197. 262. Along the way, although Zhang Yu didn't make Layla do anything strange, Layla still felt very uncomfortable being controlled by others and kept yelling at Zhang Yu. But for Layla's scolding, Zhang Yu was not only not angry, but looked at her with interest. 
This made Layla have nothing to do with Zhang Yu. Since Zhang Yu couldn't do it, Layla looked at Irene again. Sister Irene, let me go. Layla said flatteringly to Irene. That can't be done, Lord Zhang Yi won't agree. Irene refused Layla without hesitation. Why not, you should be the B asterisk 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 D's wife. If I stay here, I might rob you of men, so you should let me go. Layla looked at Irene and said. That's right, 210, I am indeed Master Zhang Yu's woman. But Master Zhang Yu seems to like you, I will definitely help Master Zhang Yu get you. Irene looked at Layla and said with certainty. What? How could you be like this? Are there any wives like you? Hearing Irene's words, Layla looked at Irene in disbelief. There is also a wife who helps her man find a woman. Layla couldn't accept it for a while. Nothing is impossible, no matter what Master Zhang Yu does, I will support Master Zhang Yu. My happiness is bestowed by Zhang Yu. As long as I can do something that makes Lord Zhang Yu happy, I will do it without hesitation. Irene said firmly. Irene is very clear that if she hadn't met Zhang Yu, she would still be in a dragon form at this time, living in the forest, and everything she has now is bestowed by Zhang Feng. So no matter what Zhang Yu said, Irene would carry out Zhang Yu's order without hesitation. You two are so unreasonable. Layla looked defeated. Soon under Layla's leadership, Zhang Yu and Irene came to a city. Along the way, Layla still didn't give up on running away, but Zhang Yu and Irene were too powerful to escape with their own strength. But Layla had a new idea in her mind, since she couldn't escape, she should use the power of the guild. In this town is stationed its own guild, the Level Up Guild. As long as the strong members of our guild make a move, they will definitely be able to defeat the B asterisk 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 D Zhang Yu and save themselves. Therefore, when Lai came to the city and saw a member of the Level Up Guild, Layla yelled. Cook, I'm here, come and save me. Layla yelled at a middle-aged man. Hearing Layla's words, the middle-aged man named Cook ran over from a distance without any hesitation. Layla, why are you here? Didn't you go to perform the mission? Did you complete the mission? The middle-aged man said courteously. Cook, don't talk about the mission, save me quickly, I was kidnapped and under magic. Layla immediately told her experience, emphasizing the fact that Zhang Yu kidnapped her matter. What? Someone rushed to kidnap our level up public accountant, who is so bold. Hearing Layla's words, this person immediately became angry. It's him, this B asterisk 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 D kidnapped me, and even cast magic on me. Layla pointed at Zhang Yu and said loudly. HMPH, boy, you actually dare to help me, Layla, let her go right away. Otherwise, I'll let you know how good I am. The middle-aged man said threateningly at Zhang Yu, and at the same time released his own magic, a fireball ignited in his hand. Trash, get lost. Looking at this person, Zhang Yu said very disdainfully. In Zhang Yu's eyes, this person's strength is really too weak, even the weak Zhang Yu is too lazy to do anything. Damn it, you actually dare to scold me and let you see how powerful I am. Fire magic fire burning. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, the man was furious and directly activated his own magic. A blazing fireball attacked Zhang Yu. Since you are looking for death, I will fulfill you. Give me back. As Zhang Yu's voice fell, I saw that the fireball released by this person that was attacking Zhang Yu flew back and attacked this person. What? Amidst the screams, this person was swallowed by his own fireball, where he kept struggling and screaming, and his whole body became scarred. Cook, don't be brave, this person is very powerful. Go find someone else to help. Layla looked at the middle-aged man who was seriously injured in an instant and said. I see, Layla, hold on, I will bring someone to rescue you soon. Boy, don't run if you have the ability, I will let you know the strength of our union. The scrambling man quickly ran to the distance, and he didn't forget to threaten Zhang Yu when he left. Fan. Layla, do you know that you did something wrong? Zhang Yu looked at Layla and said. Haha, you be asterisk 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 D, are you scared? If you let me go now and beg me for mercy, I can consider letting you go. Layla said to Zhang Yu as if she was determined. Zhang Yu Dian said with a smile. It's funny, don't forget, you are still in my hands. You have my magic on you, do you think I should execute the FA on the spot now? Zhang Yu pinched Layla's pretty face and said maliciously. What are you doing, don't mess around. Sensing Zhang Yu's movements, Layla became frightened. 3.6 What Zhang Yu said is correct. Although Cook has gone to rescue the soldiers, he is still in Zhang Yu's hands. If Zhang Yu takes the opportunity to mistreat him, he really has nothing to do. But Layla vowed in her heart that this B asterisk 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 D would not fall into her hands, otherwise Miss Ben must let her know why the flowers are so popular. Layla, do you really think that the people in this guild can save you? This guild may be destroyed because of your words, but my strength is very strong. Zhang Yu said looking at Layla. HMPH, even if yours is very powerful, you can't be our guild's opponent. There are many powerful people in our guild. Layla said very confidently. Chapter 246, they are the ones who died. Selena Gomez posts powerful bikini then and now. More. 784. 196. 261. Level up guild this is a famous guild in fairy tale world. This guild is different from fairy tales guild, this is a business guild. In this guild, in addition to ordinary mission entrustment, they are more of a commercial mission. Like escorting important caravans, looking for rare goods, etc., everything is business-oriented. 
It is precisely because of this that this guild has a close relationship with the most powerful business family, the Hartfilia family, and it is precisely because of this that Layla joined the Iovaluk guild so easily. As the eldest lady of the Hartfilia family, every move of La is the minister of protection. Even if she joined the guild, it was with the tacit approval of the Hartfilia family. And the entire Lovaluk guild is protecting Layla, but Layla doesn't know it. At this moment, the Lovaluk guild was opened roughly, and a distressed person broke in. Cook, it's you, what's going on with you? How did you suffer such a serious injury? Seeing the person coming, 18 other people in the guild asked very puzzled. It's not good, I was taken away. Hurry up and save Miss Layla, the man said immediately. Layla. What happened to her? What happened? Didn't Layla go to perform the mission? What happened? Cook, tell me in detail. The guild is very familiar with Layla, and there are many powerful wizards who know Layla's identity very well. Layla is the eldest lady of the Hartfilia family. People from the Hartfilia family have specifically explained that if Layla has an accident in their guild, it will be troublesome. I don't know the specifics, I just know that Layla is controlled by a powerful mage. Layla asked me for help. I'm not that person's match. I came back to rescue soldiers. The person immediately explained briefly what happened to Zhang Yu. What? Damn it, you dare to take a shot at Fula. No matter who you are, anyone who dares to attack Layla will have to pay the price. Everyone in the guild obeys orders, gather immediately, and let's save Layla. The people in the guild shouted loudly, and soon all the mages in the entire guild gathered and rushed towards Zhang Yu in a mighty manner. What is Zhang Yu doing now? Zhang Yu is shopping with two beauties. Layla, how about this magic necklace, it looks very suitable for you. Zhang Yu said to Layla holding a shining necklace. HMPH, you are still in the mood to buy things, and the members of the guild will surround you later, and you won't know how you died. If you beg for mercy now, Miss Ben can forgive your offense. Layla looked at Zhang Yu and said very angrily. Haha, thank you so much. But it's not me who will die next, but them. Irene, since Layla doesn't want it, I'll give you this necklace. Zhang Yu helped Irene put the necklace around her neck. And Irene felt Zhang Yu's tenderness and happiness on his face. Layla, don't be stunned here, pay the bill quickly. Zhang Yu said to Layla. You, damn b asterisk 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 d, you actually asked me to pay. Layla said very angrily. Unable to control it, I could only settle the bill for Zhang Yu with a look of anger. Along the way, Zhang Yu and Irene went shopping with smiles on their faces. It can be said that as long as Zhang Bao saw something, he would buy it without hesitation. Behind him was Layla who angrily followed to pay the bill. At this time, there was a sound of commotion in the distance, and a group of people came from a distance. The Level Up Guild is doing business. In order to prevent everyone from getting hurt, please leave. The leaders shouted loudly to the people around them. The Level Up Guild still had a high reputation in this city, so after hearing what these people said, the ordinary people around did not hesitate at all, and left quickly one by one. Soon everyone on the entire street disappeared, leaving only Zhang Yu, Irene, and members of the Level Up Guild who surrounded them. Layla, are you alright? Are you injured? An old man came out and looked at Layla and asked nervously. This person is the president of the Level Up Guild. When he heard that Layla was kidnapped, he was also shocked and rushed over immediately. President, I'm fine. This B asterisk 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 D kidnapped me and cast magic on me. Seeing the old man pointing at Zhang Yu, Layla shouted loudly. Layla, hold on a little longer, I'll rescue you soon. The guild leader said a few words of comfort to Layla, and then looked towards Zhang Yu. Do you know Layla's identity? How dare you kidnap Layla? Release Layla 523 wisely, I can guarantee your safety, the guild leader looked at Zhang Yu and said. The Hartfilia family, this is the most powerful family in the entire kingdom, in charge of the business of the entire kingdom, this is a behemoth that ordinary people dare not offend. But Zhang Yu is no ordinary person. Of course I know, the eldest lady of the Hartfilia family, if I didn't know her identity I wouldn't keep her by my side. Zhang Bao looked at Layla and said with a smile. You, since you know Layla's identity, could it be that your target is the Hartfilia family? Hearing Zhang Yu reveal Layla's identity, the guild president became more vigilant. As a very important family in the entire kingdom, the Hartfilia family is very powerful, but there are also many enemies. But now Zhang Yu actually knows Layla's identity, and has kidnapped Layla, no matter how you look at it, Zhang Yu seems to be doing it for the Hartfilia family. Haha, <laughs> then you are mistaken, I am not interested in the Hartfilia family, my goal is Layla. Zhang Yu said with a big laugh. No matter what, since you dare to kidnap Layla, then you are the enemy of our trade union. Except the trick, the old man looked at Zhang Yu and said, while the magic power surged all over his body. Chapter 247 Your attack is too weak. Interesting for you. Selena Gomez posts powerful bikini then and now. 285. 74. 249. Are you really going to attack me? You have to think clearly. Zhang Yu looked at the old man who was ready to attack, and reminded him. What? You're scared. Let Layla go if you're scared, the guild leader looked at Zhang Yu and said. Let Layla go. It's impossible. From now on, Layla is mine. I won't let her go. Zhang Yu hugged Layla and said with a smile. You be asterisk 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 d, what are you doing? Ba, 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 who is yours? Layla said with a blushing face when she heard Zhang Yu's words. 
But at this time, Layla didn't look like she was kidnapped at all, but looked like a little girl acting like a baby. And the people in the Level Up Guild around them all became angry when they saw Zhang Yu hugging Layla. Layla is the goddess of their guild, the goddess they protect, and now their goddess has fallen into the hands of the devil and is being bullied by the devil, how can they not be angry? UB asterisk 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 D, let go of Layla. Come with me, kill him. Be careful not to hurt La. All of a sudden, the surrounding magic circle flickered, and all kinds of magic attacked Zhang Yu. UB asterisk 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 D, be careful. Looking at the magic attacking fiercely around her, Layla said nervously. Although Zhang Yu kidnapped her, Zhang Yu didn't do anything bad to her, the most was paying for the shopping himself. Therefore, in Layla's heart, Zhang Yu is still a good person. Seeing these magics attacking Zhang Yu now, the kind-hearted Layla couldn't bear it. Layla, are you concerned about me? Don't worry, I don't take these attacks seriously. Zhang Yu said something flirtatious to Layla, and then immediately activated his own calendar. Energy absorption. I saw that the magic attacking towards him turned into pure energy before it touched Zhang Yu, and was completely absorbed by Zhang Yu. What's going on with this? What happened? Where's our magic? What did you do? Where did our magic go? Seeing that their magic disappeared, everyone was taken aback, not knowing what to do for a while. Do you want your own magic? Then give it back to you. Magic counterattack. Zhang Yu waved his hand again, only to see the disappearing magic appearing out of thin air, and one by one the magic was released towards the one just now. What? Not good. Get out of the way. Seeing his magic attacking him suddenly, everyone was shocked and wanted to avoid it. But can they really escape? Obviously not. Boom boom boom. Ah, 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 ah. Amidst a series of explosions, these mages were all hit by the magic they released, and they flew upside down screaming. In other words, in an instant, everyone in the Level Up Guild was defeated by Zhang Yu. Now in the entire trade union, the only person who is still standing is the president of the trade union, that is, the old man. This, how is this possible? You, who the hell are you? Seeing that Zhang Yu easily eliminated everyone in his guild, the old man was also shocked. Although he knew Zhang Yu's strength was very strong, he never thought that Zhang Yu's strength would be so strong that he could easily eliminate all the mages in his guild. Who am I, you don't need to know. You can get out now, otherwise you won't have a chance to leave later. Zhang Yu looked at the old man and said threateningly. Damn it, don't think that defeating everyone in our guild will allow you to act recklessly. Now let you see the power of the Holy Ten. Now that he knew that Zhang Yu was very powerful, there was no need for the old man to hide his strength, and the power of the Holy Ten burst out. Level Up can become the most important business guild in the entire kingdom, and it also has certain strengths. For example, this old man has the Holy Cross as the guild leader. The power of the Holy Cross. It's really funny. Not long ago, an old man said that he had the power of the Holy Cross. Do you know what happened to him in the end? Zhang Yu asked very disdainfully. What's wrong? The old man couldn't help asking. I spanked him to the point where he urinated, and finally knelt down and begged for mercy. Zhang Yu said. Quote dot quote. How is this possible? The Holy Cross is the most powerful force in this world. Now you have not only offended our trade union, but also insulted Holy Cross. I'm going to teach you a lesson today. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, the old man immediately became angry. The Holy Ten are ten powerful mages recognized by the Magic Council, each of whom is of high status, but now that Zhang Yu despises the Holy Ten, how can this old man not be angry? Accept the move. Thunder magic, violent thunder dragon. A dark blue magic circle appeared, and an explosion of lightning burst out. The lightning turned into a thunder dragon and rushed towards Zhang Yu fiercely. But facing the attacking thunder dragon, Zhang Yu still didn't dodge, it seemed that he didn't take this violent thunder dragon seriously at all. When the thunder dragon was about to hit Zhang Yu, Zhang Yu stretched out his right hand and gave the thunder dragon a firm grip. Marys. Disappear for me. Puff. The originally berserk thunder dragon burst instantly, was crushed by Zhang Yu, and turned into a piece of energy that disappeared without a trace. What? How is this possible? It's so easy to block my attack. Seeing Zhang Yu easily crushing his thunder dragon attack, the guild leader's expression also changed. That's why your attack is too weak. Now it's my turn. Let you see what is called a lightning attack. Zhang Yu raised his right hand high, and a powerful energy burst out from Zhang Yu's body. The huge energy went straight to the sky, and at the same time, the sky was covered with dark clouds, and thunder flashed. In the pitch black clouds, the sound of thunder and lightning roared, as if some terrifying giant beast was brewing. Chapter 248 Feel the Power. Feel the Power. Thunder Kilin. Zhang Yu let out a loud bang, and there was a sound of thunder crackling in the sky, and a giant beast composed entirely of Kilin poked its head out of the dark clouds. A pair of huge animal pupils watched everything on the ground, and a wave of brilliant heavenly power rushed towards him. The first person to bear the brunt was the guild leader, who suddenly felt cold all over his body, and his body kept retreating. What? What is going on here? What kind of magic is this? As the Holy Ten, I actually feel fear. At this moment, Zhang Yu's raised right hand slowly fell. Kilin, the thunderbolt in the sky, roared angrily as if he had heard the order. Roar. A thunderous roar resounded through the sky, and Thunder Kilin jumped from the sky, sending it towards the old man. 
Not good. Defensive magic. Looking at the attacking giant thunder and lightning beast, the old man's reaction was not slow, the lightning flashed all around, and quickly formed a defensive magic. But his defensive magic was like paper in front of the huge thunder and lightning behemoth, it was easily torn to pieces, and he continued to rush towards the old man. 643 inches. With a huge explosion, the lightning keelin exploded, and the violent thunder and lightning destroyed everything around. Countless buildings disappeared in the thunder and lightning, all kinds of screams were heard endlessly, the huge roar made the whole city shake for a while, and a large cloud of dust flooded the whole city. The whole movement lasted for a quarter of an hour. When the dust dispersed, a huge deep pit appeared somewhere, and countless members of the Lovelock Guild fell half dead into the deep pit. You, you, what did you do? You actually killed everyone in our guild. I want to avenge everyone in my guild. Seeing the half-dead appearance of her guild members, Layla became angry, and attacked Zhang Yu with her fists clenched. But how could she be Zhang Yu's opponent with this level of strength, Zhang Yu easily grabbed her fist. Layla, look carefully, they are not dead, they just passed out. Zhang Yu said. Just passed out. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Layla checked and found that these people really just passed out, so she couldn't help but give a mouthful. Damn B asterisk 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 D, even if they just fainted, it's your fault. You actually attacked members of our guild. Layla looked at Zhang Yu with a bad tone. Layla doesn't blame me, they look like this all because of you. Zhang Yu looked at Layla and said very seriously. Because of me, how is this possible? Layla looked at Zhang Yu very puzzled. Layla, if you hadn't asked for help, the people in the guild wouldn't have attacked me, and if they hadn't attacked me, I wouldn't have fought back. Therefore, it's all because of you. Zhang Yu looked at Layla and said. E.H. Layla was a little confused when she heard Zhang Yu's words. According to Zhang Yu's words, these people were really injured because of herself. Okay, Layla, let's go. This city has become like this, there is no need to stay any longer. Looking at the ruined city in front of him, Zhang Yu shrugged. Under the attack of Zhang Yu's powerful thunderbolt Qilin, the whole city has been turned into ruins, and there is nothing left to play. No, I don't want to leave. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Layla resolutely refused. You have to think about it, if you are not obedient, I will not be polite. Next time, they won't just be injured. Zhang Yu Biak said threateningly to Layla with a cloud of lightning in his hand. You, I'll go with you. Hearing Zhang Yu's threatening words, Layla gritted her teeth and spit out a few words. That's good. Let's go. In this way, Zhang Yu, Layla and Irene left here, leaving a city in ruins. Not long after Zhang Yu and the others left, people in the Lovelock Guild woke up from their coma one by one. Looking at the ruined city in front of him, everyone was stunned. What's going on here? What happened? What about the city? Where is our city? Has our city been destroyed? Where's the president? Where did the president go? Go find the president. President. All members of the guild searched quickly in the ruins, and finally found the guild leader who had turned into coke in a huge deep pit. I found the president, who can heal magic. The president is injured. I can heal magic, and I can also heal. I also have a little healing magic. Dot 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 dot. Under the treatment of all the wizards, the guild leader finally woke up. Cough cough. President, you finally woke up, are you alright? The people around asked with concern. I'm fine. No, Layla is still in the hands of the enemy. I'm going to report this incident to the Hatfilia family. The old man stood up struggling. President, you are seriously injured now, you need to rest. Others looked at the seriously injured president and said. There is no time. The Hartfilia family is in charge of the business of the entire kingdom. Layla is the eldest daughter of the Hartfilia family, the first heir, if something happens to her, it will be troublesome. The seriously injured guild leader gave a simple treatment, and dragged his seriously injured body to the Hatfilia family. The patriarch of Hatfilia's family, Reju's father, was also very excited when he heard that something happened to Sula. I just want my daughter to play around in the guild, how can you let your daughter have an accident? But seeing the seriously injured guild leader, he also knew that he couldn't wish him. It seemed that the enemy was too powerful. Therefore, the Patriarch of Hatfilia and the President of the Guild immediately came to the Magic Senate to seek help from the Magic Senate. Chapter 249 The Collection of the Holy Ten The Magic Council is the organization that controls the world's magic guilds. It is responsible for monitoring the major guilds and punishing guilds and mages who violate the rules. It can be said that the Magic Council is the most powerful authority among the wizards of the entire kingdom. Hearing that Layla, the heir of Hartfilia, was kidnapped by an evil mage, the Magic Council also took it very seriously. The Hartfilia family is one of the most powerful organizations in the entire kingdom. If something goes wrong with this family, it will be a major blow to the entire kingdom. For the sake of the entire kingdom, the heir of the Hartfilia family must be rescued. Therefore, the Magic Council immediately summoned the Holy Ten Wizards of the Major Guilds to discuss the matter. After hearing the order, all the wizards of the Holy Ten in the major guilds also came to the Magic Council. Everyone, I summoned you today for an important matter. The eldest lady of the Hartfilia family has fallen into the hands of an evil mage, I hope you can take action to save the eldest lady of the Hartfilia family. The dean of the Magic Council looked at the Holy Cross mages in front of him and said. The Hartfilia family, this is the most powerful family in our country. Who is it? How dare you attack the Hatfilia family? What is this man going to do? Does he want to see the entire kingdom in turmoil? These people in Holy Ten are also very clear about what the Hatfilia family represents. 
Now Layla, the only heir of the Hartfilia family, has been kidnapped. If it is not handled properly, it may cause turmoil in the entire ugly country. Hey, President of Lovelock, I remember Layla is not in your guild, why didn't you protect him well? Ma Karloff asked an old man next to him. Mrs. Carlo, who is the Holy Cross, was also invited. At this time, Mr. Carlos was asking an old man in bandages all over his body. Mr. Carlo, what are you talking about, how could I allow the evil mage to capture Miss Layla? You haven't seen the person who took Miss Layla. Not only is his strength amazing, but his ability is also very strange. My entire country, and the city I'm in, have been destroyed by him, the president of the Lovelock Guild said angrily. You are the Holy Ten, could it be that his power has surpassed the Holy Ten Mages? And your injury seems to be caused by lightning magic, isn't it lightning magic that you are good at? At this time, the other Holy Ten Mages also came over and kept asking. This person's strength is very powerful, and can induce the power of thunder and lightning in the sky. His strength definitely surpasses the Holy Ten. And he kidnapped Miss Layla, he must have an ulterior plan, the president of the Lovelock Guild said with certainty. In this case, we must not let him succeed. That's right, in order to protect the stability of the entire kingdom, we must find him. Comma. The other Holy Ten Mages also said outrageously. At this moment, the Patriarch of Hatfilia came out. Honorable Holy Ten Magisters, the Patriarch of Lower Hatfilia. I ask everyone to save my daughter. After this is done, I promise to provide free magic resources to your guild. As a business family, the Hatfilia family has plenty of money, and problems that can be solved with money are not problems at all for the Hatfilia Patriarch. Therefore, after hearing of his daughter's accident, the Patriarch of Hatfilia immediately came to the Magic Counselor, threw out a lot of money, and hired the Holy Ten Wizards. Sure enough, hearing what the Hatfilia family said, all the mages became excited one by one. Patriarch Hatfilia, leave it to us, we will definitely rescue Miss Layla. That's right, so what if this person's strength is strong, we have many Holy Ten here. With our strength, we can definitely rescue Miss Layla safely. Dot 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 dot. Seeking flowers zero. Comma 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 dot. Although these people are Holy Ten, there are guilds behind them. The development of each guild requires a lot of resources, and each of them is very poor. Now the Hatfilia family gives them magic resources, which is really important to them. Report to all Holy Tens, we found Miss Layla's trace. Miss Layla is in the town of Lorraine at this time, and there are two people with strange movements beside her. At this moment, one walked in. What are you waiting for, let's act. Soon the magicians of the Holy Ten left the magic council one by one, and rushed towards the direction of Lorraine City, and the patriarch of Hatfilia went with them. At this time, Zhang Yu, Irene, and Layla were wandering in Lorraine City. Zhang Yu has come to a new world, of course he wants to have a good time in this world, besides, he has two beauties by his side. Damn it, what are you doing to me? Layla looked at Zhang Yu angrily and said. Didn't I say that, I've fallen in love with you, and you'll be mine from now on. Zhang Yu looked at Layla and said. You, you are such a b asterisk 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 d. Layla's pretty face turned red when she heard Zhang Yu's blunt words. Layla is in her girlhood at this time, and it is the age when the spring heart sprouts. And Zhang Yu is not only handsome, but also powerful, and Zhang Yu's domineering behavior also deeply attracted her. Even if you like me, you still have to ask for my opinion. Layla, who was blushing, looked at Zhang Yu and whispered. Hey, the troublemaker is here again. At this moment, Zhang Yu raised his eyebrows as if he sensed something. Zhang Yu, do you need me to help you deal with them? Irene obviously felt something, looking at Zhang Yu and asked. No, since they came, I just happened to play with them, let's go. Zhang Yu, Irene and Layla immediately left the city and walked towards a nearby forest. Chapter 250, The Frightened Horseman Carlos. The target has been found, and the target has left Lorraine City at this time. Keep in touch, never let the target get lost. Clear. In Lorraine City, several mages who were good at tracking were communicating with each other, looking in the direction Zhang Yu left from time to time. The few of them thought they were doing it very secretly, but they never thought that their every move was under Zhang Yu's surveillance. Not far from Lorraine, the Japanese film wizard appeared here. They are the Holy Ten in the Magic Council, and besides that, there are S-level mages from the guild where the Holy Ten is. Since the Patriarch of the Hatfilia family promised to give them a lot of magic materials, of course they, the Holy Ten's guild, should also make a good contribution. Therefore, the S-level magic guide, 623, soldiers in these guilds also came, and there were more than two dozen of them. Holy Ten plus more than 20 S-class mages, this can be said to be the most powerful force in the entire kingdom now. If these forces attack together, even a country can perish. Report, found Miss Layla and the target. At this time they are walking towards the forest. A magician appeared in front of everyone and said. Going to the forest. Very good, just in case we hurt ordinary people. They are simply seeking their own death. Hearing the mage's report, all the Holy Ten couldn't help but nodded. The battles between the Holy Ten were very fierce, and it would not be an exaggeration to say that they were devastating. If these saints have a big battle in the city, the whole city may also be destroyed. But now when they heard their target walking towards the forest, all of them showed excited expressions on their faces. In the forest, they don't have any scruples, and they can release their power with the greatest right. What is the identity of the target? How is their strength? Carlos asked immediately out of caution. 
I don't know, I just know it's a man and a woman, the mage replied. A man and a woman. It can't be the two of them. The figures of Zhang Yu and Irene could not help appearing in Ma Karloff's mind, but he quickly denied this idea. No, what's going on, the two of them? How could the two of them kidnap the eldest lady of the Hartfilia family? There is no reason for this. At this time, the patriarch of Hatfilia came over and said to all the magicians of the Holy Ten. Every Holy Ten sorcerer, my little girl, I'm counting on you all. Don't worry, we will definitely rescue your daughter safely. Let's go. Holy Eleven said confidently one by one, leading the crowd to chase in the direction of Zhang Yu, and quickly chased after him. You guys are finally here. Zhang Yu glanced at the surrounding crowd, as if waiting for them. You know we're coming. One of the leaders asked curiously when he heard Zhang Yu's words. Of course, I discovered you when the first of you just entered the city. Zhang Yu replied. It's really funny, since you found us and you still don't run away, don't tell me you are someone who is looking for death. Another person said mockingly. Looking for death. Ha ha, you should be the ones looking for death. Zhang Yu said mockingly. At the same time, Zhang Yu also saw the horseman Carlos in the team. Hey, there is an acquaintance, Mr. Carlo, are you also here to die? When Ma Karloff saw that the targets this time were Zhang Yu and Irene, his mind froze and he froze. Damn it, it's not so unlucky. The mission this time is actually the two of them, this is simply sending them to death. Ma Karloff has fought against Irene, and he knows Irene's strength very well. Even Ma Karloff guesses whether Irene is the legendary dragon. Besides Irene, there is also the unfathomable Zhang Yu. Although they had a few Holy Ten Wizards on their side and seemed to have an advantage, Ma Karloff still didn't think he could win. Hearing Zhang Yu's question now, Carlos Ma recovered from his stupor and immediately said. No, no. Master Zhang Yu misunderstood, how could I become an enemy of Master Zhang Yu? The wizards around saw Zhang Yu greeting Mr. Carlo, and all looked over curiously. Carlo, you know both of them. Is it considered to be acquaintance? Are you really sure that the two of them kidnapped Miss Layla? Ma Karloff asked in disbelief. Of course, didn't you see that Miss Layla was beside the two of them, the others immediately said. This, could it be a misunderstanding, Miss Layla doesn't seem to be hurt at all. Maybe we can talk to these two people. Ma Karloff said after thinking for a while. Carlo the horse, what's going on? When did you become so timid? Seeing Carlos the horse cautiously, the others asked strangely. Ma Karloff can be regarded as an old-fashioned holy cross, and the others are very familiar with him. He is usually jealous, so why did he suddenly become cowardly today? You don't want to attack, I'll negotiate with you. Ma Karloff thought for a moment and stabilized the many mages before walking towards Zhang Yu. Master Zhang Yu, I don't know why you kidnapped Miss Layla. Ma Carlos looked at Zhang Yu and asked. Kidnapping. How could I kidnap her? We are in love with each other, Layla is mine now. Zhang Yu said, looking at the crowd in front of him. 1.8 inches b asterisk 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 d, what nonsense are you talking about, when did I belong to you? Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Layla blushed and looked shy. Ma Carlo, I will give you a chance, if you are sensible, leave immediately. Otherwise, you will die later. Zhang Yu looked at Ma Carlo and the others and said threateningly. Hearing what Zhang Yu said, Carlos Ma stepped back without answering, and told everyone what Zhang Yu said. In an instant, everyone became angry. What? This person is too arrogant. Who does he think he is? We are holy ten, he actually talks to us like this. Let's go together and let him know how powerful we are. Chapter 251 The First Person to Seek Death Holy Ten is a very honorable title, and every mage is proud of Holy Ten. But now Zhang Yu actually looked down on these holy ten mages, and it was unbearable to let him go straight away. Wait, don't be impulsive, these two people are very powerful. And Ms. Layla doesn't look like she's being kidnapped, maybe it's a flirting between a man and a woman. Carlos Ma said looking at the angry crowd. Although Carlos Ma has never seen Zhang Yu's strength, he is still very sure of the powerful aura emanating from Zhang Yu's body, Zhang Yu's strength must be very terrifying. Otherwise, Irene, a strong person, wouldn't be by Zhang Yu's side. Even if these people join hands, they may not be able to defeat Yu's opponent. If they attack Zhang Yu suddenly, they might die here. And it seems that the shy look on Miss Layla's face doesn't look like she was kidnapped. Ma Karloff doesn't want to be buried here because of a misunderstanding. Ma Karlo, when did you become so timid? There is no misunderstanding here, don't forget that my guild and the city I'm in were just destroyed by him. Yes, Horseman Carlo, if you dare not go up, get out of the way. Even without you, we can save Miss Layla. These people are all holy ten, even the weakest or S-rank mages, they all have their own arrogance and ideas, and Hatfilia may have promised a generous reward. So they will not give up just because of a few words from Ma Karloff. You are simply unreasonable, don't blame me for not reminding you. The two people in front of you are not something you can fight. Kildas, let's go. Ma Karloff said something to the crowd, and immediately left with the members of the Fairy Tale Guild. President, are we leaving just like this? Who are these two people? Kildas looked at the horse Carlo very puzzled. The two of them are people we can't fight. If we make a move, we might die here today. Ma Karloff said with a serious face. But Miss Layla is still in their hands. Isn't it bad for us to just give up like this? Kildith said. Miss Layla seems to be in no danger. Let's tell Chief Hatfilia what happened here. Ma Karloff thought for a while and said. 
After knowing that the target was Zhang Yu, Carlos Ma already knew that the matter was beyond his ability and could not be solved by himself. After Ma Karloff left, the remaining mages all looked towards Zhang Yu. Little ghost, if you are sensible, let Miss Layla go immediately. That's right, our holy ten wizards are here, you can't escape. In the eyes of these mages, there are only two Zhang Yu and Irene, and they have countless mages on their side, and there are also mages of the holy ten. No matter how you look at it, their side has the advantage. But in the face of these people, Zhang Yu did not have the slightest fear, but said very disdainfully. It seems that you don't plan to leave. If that's the case, you can stay here today. You holy ten may become history today. Hearing Zhang Yu's unkind words, these people all became angry. Damn, arrogant brat, I'm going to teach you a lesson today. A man with a fiery temper and a burly body was the first to attack Zhang Yu. Enhanced magic, super power. A magic circle flashed across this person's whole body, and his whole body swelled up instantly, and his originally burly body became a little bit more. Looking at the person rushing towards him, Zhang Yu still stood there without the slightest evasion. The berserk energy turned into a surrounding bone covering Zhang Yu's side. At this moment, this person came to Zhang Yu, and violently blasted Zhang Yu with his huge fist. Go to hell. The man let out a roar, and seemed to be full of confidence in defeating Zhang Yu. Boom. With a loud impact sound, this person's bombardment hit the energy bones around Zhang Yu. But what is strange is that Zhang Yu didn't move at all, but the person who attacked Zhang Yu felt his whole body tremble Kuda's counter shock force made him spit out a mouthful of blood. PFF. How can that be? The man stared wide-eyed, looking at Zhang Yu in disbelief. Since you are the first to come up to seek death. Then I will fulfill you. Get out of here. Under Zhang Yu's control, the energy gathered on Suzano turned into a huge skeleton palm, and slapped towards this person. Damn it, I won't admit defeat. Seeing Zhang Yu's attack, this man still didn't give up, his hands crossed like a shield, trying to block Zhang Yu's attack. But can he 693 really block it? Obviously impossible. Boom. With a loud impact sound, Zhang Yu knocked this one out like a sandbag, and fell from the sky to the ground, creating a deep hole. What? What kind of magic is this? Everyone be careful, the enemy's strength is very strong. Seeing that Zhang Yu defeated this man with one move, the others also became vigilant. Although this person is not the most powerful among them, he is still a level 5 mage. But it was such a strong man who was defeated by Zhang Yu with one move. But they are not afraid, there are many people on their side, and there are only two people on Zhang Yu's side. Don't be afraid, there are many of us, let's go together. Even if he is powerful, he can't be the opponent of so many saint kings. E. Everyone looked at each other, and magic surged in one's hands. Interesting, let me see the power of the whole magic. Looking at the magic flashing in these people's hands, Zhang Yu suddenly became interested. Irene, protect Layla, I'll play with them. Yes, Master Zhang Yu. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Irene pulled Layla away quickly. Chapter 252, The Legendary Realm. Thunder and lightning magic. Fire magic. Earth magic. Ice magic. All of a sudden, Holy Ten and these mages launched an attack on Zhang Yu. The dense and huge magic quickly submerged Zhang Yu Zhang Yu in it. Ah, Zhang Yu. Irene, hurry up and help Zhang Yu, something may happen to Zhang Yu. Layla who had retreated to the distance said to Irene beside her. During this period of time, Layla and Zhang Yu have been staying together. Although Zhang Yu often teases Layla and makes Layla's face flush every time, Layla is not angry in her heart, pounding. So gradually Layla has some affection for Zhang Yu. Seeing so many mages attacking Zhang Yu now, Lo is also very worried. Don't worry, these people can't be Zhang Yu's opponent. Layla said very positively, full of confidence in Zhang Yu's strength. Solved it. It should be resolved, this person is simply impossible to escape our attack. Under the attack of this powerful magic, even if he is the Holy Ten, he will definitely be smashed to pieces. Seeing Zhang Yu being hit by the fierce magic, these people all had triumphant smiles on their faces. But before they were happy, the dust in front of them suddenly scattered, and a huge energy palm broke out and attacked them. Not good, dodge quickly. Several mages with quicker reactions quickly dodged. However, more mages didn't even have a chance to react, and were directly slapped on the ground by this huge palm. Quote quote. The ground shook violently, and a huge pit-like palm prince appeared somewhere, and several mages who couldn't escape in the pit fainted directly. Damn, what kind of magic is this? Continue to attack. The mage who dodged the attack looked at Zhang Yu at this time, and his face became full. At this time, Zhang Yu had already activated Suzano, where a huge half-length skeleton stood, and the surging power of the skeleton shocked everyone. Damn it, no matter what magic it is, we must defeat them today. We can't lose our title of Holy Ten. That's right, attack together. All the mages attacked Zhang Yu again. As soon as they fought, more than a dozen wizards on their side were directly defeated by Zhang Yu. They are now not only to save Layla, but more to keep their title of Holy Cross. They are the Holy Ten recognized by the Magic Council, and they are the most honorable mages in the entire magic world. If these Holy Ten join forces, they can't defeat the person in front of them. Well, it's a big shame now. So no matter what, they must beat Zhang Yu today. Ice Magic, Shattering Ice Blade. Fire Magic, Exploding Fireballs. Thunder and Lightning Magic Running Thunder Impact. A series of spells attack Zhang Yu. 
The dense magic bombarded Suzano, and there was a series of explosions, but it was strange that these seemingly violent attacks did not cause the slightest damage to Zhang Feng. Is this your attack? It's just like tickling. Now it's my turn. Under Zhang Yu's control, the huge Suzano clenched his hands tightly, a piece of energy gathered, and two energy long swords condensed. Slash with two swords. The long sword with huge energy was cut down, and the two huge swords attacked the mage in front of him. Boom. There was a trembling sound, and several wizards died directly under Zhang Yu's attack. President, the battle over there seems to have begun. Is this person really as powerful as you say? Fairy tales killed it asked the horse Carlo. Of course, he is not only powerful, but also very powerful. I even suspect that he has touched the so-called abyss in the magic world. Ma Karloff said with a serious face. Abyss. President, you are talking about the abyss that is said to be insurmountable in the magic world. Hearing Ma Karloff's words, Kildas was stunned and asked in surprise. That's right, that's the realm. Ma Karloff said with certainty. This, someone really reached the realm of the abyss, I always thought it was a legend. Kildas said incredulously. Quote dot quote. Well, this realm is beyond our reach. The most important thing for me now is to tell the head of the Hatfilia family what happened here. Ma Karloff said involuntarily, and at the same time quickly evacuated towards the distance. Patriarch Hatfilia, who was anxiously waiting in the distance, saw the horseman Carlos return, and greeted him strangely. President Carlos Ma, why did you come back by yourself, where is my daughter? Patriarch Hatfilia, encountered a difficult matter. The target this time is a very powerful person. And your daughter doesn't seem to have been kidnapped, there may be some misunderstanding. Carlos Ma immediately explained the matter briefly. The leader of the Hartfilia family finally understood after listening to what Ma Karloff said a lot. This is because Ma Karloff was afraid of the enemy and did not dare to attack, so the kings fled back with his people. After thinking it over, Patriarch Hatfilia's face turned ugly. I paid such a high price to invite the Holy Ten Magisters to save my daughter, but you, the Holy Book Magister, actually ran away. President Carlos Ma, don't make fun of me, you are Holy Ten Magisters. Bo. Is there anyone in this world that you can't beat? If you don't want to save my daughter, you can leave on your own, the leader of Hatfilia said in a bad tone. Patriarch Hartfilia, you must trust me, I am doing this for your Hartfilia family. Ma Karloff quickly explained. But no matter how it was explained, Chief Hatfilia didn't believe it. The Hatfilia Patriarch has already regarded Mama Karlo as a deserter. Chapter 253 One-Sided Battle. In Ma Karloff's view, Zhang Yu's strength is very strong. Such a powerful force is not what they are fighting against. If they rashly fight against a superpower like Zhang Yu, it may leave a deep misunderstanding. It was precisely because of this that the horseman Carlo returned quickly and explained the situation to Chief Hatfilia. But the Hatfilia family didn't believe in themselves, instead they thought they were timid and fled. Now Carlos Ma felt very aggrieved. I was obviously kind, but why didn't Patriarch Hatfilia believe in him? Patriarch Hatfilia, what I said is true, this person is very powerful. And it looks like Zhang Yu didn't hurt your daughter, we have a better solution. Ma Karloff continued to persuade. But the Patriarch Hatfilia didn't listen at all, but said with a bored expression. President Carlos Ma, you can go now. This, hey, hearing the words of the Patriarch Hatfilia, Ma Karloff knew that he had nothing to say, and retreated without a car. But at this time 080, there was an explosion in the distance. A powerful energy soared into the sky, and the violent and huge energy changed the world. Even Carlos the horsemen and others who were far away felt an aura rushing towards them. The berserk energy continuously condensed, finally stabilized somewhere, and turned into a huge titan. The huge energy titan stands upright, and when viewed from a distance, it gives people a sense of oppression. Titan slowly drew out the long sword at his waist, and slashed vigorously. In an instant, there was a strong wind, sand and rocks, and a huge sword energy blasted on the ground. Boom. The ground shook violently, like an earthquake, turning the world upside down. A huge gully appeared on the ground, and the gully continued to spread, extending to the distance, and everything above it was destroyed. But this is not the end, after the sword energy tore the ground, it continued to attack in the distance, and slashed towards a mountain peak. Crack. Boom. With a crackling sound, the mountain B.A. peak was cut in half and collapsed. How? How is this possible? What kind of power is this? Seeing the attack in the distance, the Hatfilia Patriarch froze. Although he is not a mage, but is the Patriarch of Hatfilia, he has seen a lot of the market, and he is very clear about the power of a mage. The most powerful mages in the magic world are the Holy Ten Mages, each of whom has powerful power. But he suddenly found that even the magician of the Holy Ten could not compare with the power in front of him. Is it really the power that people have to easily break mountains and rocks, destroy the world? This is really the power they can fight against. Patriarch Hatfilia's original self-confidence was directly shaken, and he stopped Chairman Carlo, who was about to leave. Wait, Chairman Carlos Ma, you just said there was a misunderstanding. That's right, Patriarch Hatfilia, your daughter was not harmed. On the contrary, I have a very good relationship with Zhang Yu. There must be some misunderstanding. If you attack rashly, it will be like the one in front of you. Looking at the scene of heaven and earth in front of him, Carlos Ma was also very surprised. Although Carlos Ma knew very well that Zhang Yu's strength was very strong, he did not expect it to be this powerful. Such destructive power, even as the Holy Ten, he can't do it. 
Now Mr. Mark can only mourn in silence for those mages who attacked Zhang Yu. As for Kildas, who was following Karloff the horse, he was even more shocked and speechless. Although he is one of the strongest wizards in fairy tale, he thinks that his strength is still good, but now he sees the battle in the distance, and then he realizes how small he is. After listening to Ma Karloff's words, the Patriarch of Hartfilia thought about it and had a plan in his mind. Does this powerful person like Layla? This may be an opportunity for our Hartfilia family. Thinking of this, Sub-Patriarch Harry immediately said. President Carlos Ma, please take me to meet this man. I have to make sure my daughter is safe. No problem, please come with me. Ma Karlov protected him and rushed towards the battle place. At this moment and here, the battle is almost over, and the situation has become overwhelming. After Zhang Yu opened the complete Suzano, these people have completely lost their chances. The attacks of these mages couldn't bring the slightest damage to Suzano at all, any powerful magic was like scratching an itch, but Zhang Yu's every attack caused a lot of damage to them. After a series of attacks, these wizards can be said to have suffered heavy losses. All the S-ranked mages fell to the ground, and the only ones who can still stand there are these holy ten mages, but even so, they are all in a mess now, with injuries all over their bodies. Damn it, what kind of power is this? Is this powerful force really something we can fight against? Now these holy ten wizards also regretted it in their hearts. If they had known how powerful Zhang Yu was, they would not have provoked Zhang Yu if they were killed. Now after a big battle, each of their guilds has suffered serious losses. Even with the resources provided by the Hartfilia family, it will take a long time to recover. Is this the power of your holy ten? It's just that. If this is the case, you all go to die for me. Zhang Yu said very disdainfully, while controlling Suzano, he was about to attack again. Master Zhang Yu, please wait a moment, be merciful. At this moment, Ma Karloff rushed over with the leader of Hartfilia. Seeing that Zhang Yu wanted to kill these mages, he immediately sounded a reminder. Hem. Carlo the horse. Why are you back? Do you want to court death too? Zhang Yu stood on the huge Suzano and looked towards Carlo the horse. Sensing Zhang Yu's gaze, Carlos Ma couldn't help trembling all over his body. Chapter 254, Like a God. Standing on the huge Suzano, Zhang Yu looked down at everyone like a god. Everyone felt a strong pressure, and their bodies trembled unceasingly. This was from God's gaze. Even Carlos, who is the Holy Ten Sorcerer, still feels Alexander now. Could this be Zhang Yu's power? It's really amazing, I wish I was clever and left immediately, otherwise, I would be the one lying here. Master Zhang Yu, this is the patriarch of the Hartfilia family, and also Layla's father. He wants to meet with Miss Layla and clear up the misunderstanding between you. Facing such a powerful Zhang Yu, Carlos Ma immediately said. Hello, my lord, the patriarch of the Hartfilia family, the little girl is thanks to your care these days. The patriarch of Hartfilia is also very angry when facing the super strong Zhang Yu, polite. Seeing that the two didn't want to fight, Zhang Yu also relieved Suzano. You're welcome, your daughter is fine. Zhang Yu glanced at the middle-aged man in front of him and said. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, the faces of the patriarch Hatfilia and the horseman Carlo became weird up. Your daughter is fine, that doesn't sound like a, nice word. Could it be that something indescribable has happened to Zhang Yu and Layla? At this moment, Irene and Layla rushed over from a distance. Father. Seeing her father, Layla immediately lowered her head. One must know that Layla ran away from home, and facing her father now, Layla also felt a little guilty. Layla, it's good to see you're all right. During this time, have you followed Master Zhang Yu? Patriarch Hatfilia asked immediately. That's right, I'll just follow this B asterisk 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 D. Layla pointed at Zhang Yu and said angrily. The Hartfilia organization and Ma Karloff were shocked when they heard Layla pointing at Zhang Yu and cursing. They have seen Zhang Yu's powerful power before, if Zhang Yu is angered, they may die without a place to die. But seeing that Zhang Yu was not angry, the two breathed a sigh of relief. Layla, how can you talk to Master Zhang Yu like this? If that's the case, you can follow Lord Zhang Yu from now on, the leader of the Hatfilia immediately said to Layla. Being able to become the head of the clan, the head of Hatfilia is also very capable. Seeing that Zhang Yu is very powerful now, Patriarch Hatfilia has a new idea. Don't look at the Hatfilia family, which claims to be a very powerful business family in the entire kingdom, but their strength is not that great. There is a lot of wealth but no power to protect it, so every year the Hatfilia family hires major guilds. If the Hartfilia family can get the protection of Zhang Yu, a strong man, then the strength of the whole family will be raised by Zhang Yu again. It is precisely because of this that the Hartfilia organization sent Layla to Zhang Yu's arms without hesitation after seeing Zhang Yu fell in love with her. It is best for the two of them to leave an heir as soon as possible. In this case, their Hatfilia family will be safer. What? Let me follow this B asterisk 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 D, how is it possible? Hearing what her father said, Layla said no, but she was still very happy in her heart. She is very lively by nature, and she hopes to wander around, but she doesn't want to be locked up in the castle as a noble lady. Patriarch Hatfilia obviously knew his daughter very well. Layla, I am your father, you must listen to me. Master Zhang Yu, I will hand over my daughter to you from now on, the Hatfilia Patriarch said very respectfully to Zhang Yu. Don't worry, leave it to me, Zhang Yu greeted him. Hearing that Zhang Yu agreed, the leader of the Hatfilia continued to say. Master Zhang Yu, our Hartfilia family has been in business for generations. 
Can you let these mages go? They. Well, I'm not interested in killing these ants. Zhang Yu waved his hand and said indifferently. Although Zhang Yu's words were very rude, but hearing Zhang Yu's words, these mages finally breathed a sigh of relief, and finally saved their lives. Asterisk TT. Master Zhang Yu, I don't know if you want to join our Hatfilia family. With your help, our business will be more secure, the Hatfilia patriarch said. I'm not interested in joining any family. But I can help the Hartfilia family. Zhang Yu thought for a while and said. Since the Hatfilia family gave Layla to him, he should indeed give the Hatfilia family a little help. Zhang Yu remembered it very clearly. In the original book, it was precisely because Hartfilia lacked enough strength that other families united to destroy it. Moreover, Layla also died after giving birth to her daughter. If there is no conspiracy of other families in this, even Zhang Yu would not believe it. Now that Zhang Yu has come to this world and Layla is following him, Zhang Yu certainly won't let this happen. Really. It's so good. I don't know how Lord Zhang Yu can help our family. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, the Hatfilia Patriarch looked at Zhang Yu very excitedly. Even Old Man Mark and Kildas looked at Zhang Yu very curiously, wanting to know how he helped the Hatfilia family. Huh. I'll give the Hatfilia family a dragon. Zhang Yu thought for a while and said. A dragon. The leader of Hatfilia looked at Zhang Yu very puzzled, not knowing what it meant. That's right, it's a dragon, the dragon I created. As he said that, Zhang Yu stretched out his right hand, and a powerful force gathered in Zhang Yu's hand. The energy is constantly changing, turning into a piece of blue energy like water. The blue energy continued to deform and turned into a small and exquisite dragon. It's a tiny water dragon that's so lifelike it looks like the real thing. But generally speaking, it is still a dead thing, and now Zhang Yu is going to give it life, so that he can truly be resurrected. Yin and Yang escape, bestow ecology. Chapter 255, Creation of the Dragon. Selena Gomez posts powerful bikini then and now. More. 350. 88. 117. In the world of Hokage, the former sage of six paths relied on yin and yang escape, divided the power in the body into nine, and created nine big-tailed beasts. And now Zhang Yu is planning to use his power to create a giant dragon in the world of fairy tale. And because of the system in Zhang Yu's body, even if Zhang Yu creates life, the power in his body will not decrease. As the power in Zhang Yu's body surged out, the crystal-clear little dragon in Zhang Yu's hand rapidly expanded. At the same time as the little dragon grew bigger, a life began to appear in the little dragon's body. When the little dragon has completely changed to the size of a giant dragon, it has completely turned into a real living dragon. Roar. With a huge dragon roar, the giant dragon soared into the sky and soared in the sky. The blue body of, 423, rippled under the sunlight. This is a dragon created by Zhang Yu with the power of water attribute, so it is a water dragon. It seems that the dragon I created is okay. Zhang Yu looked at the soaring dragon in the sky with satisfaction. And these people around Zhang Yu were all shocked and speechless. I actually created a giant dragon, is this really the power that humans have? This is the power that only gods have. Could it be that Zhang Yu has become a god now? Among these people, only Layla remained calm. Wow, it's a dragon. There really are dragons. What a beautiful dragon. Hey, Zhang Yu, do you still have this kind of dragon? Give me one. Layla asked Zhang Yu. Haha, do you want a dragon? I will show you my dragon in the future. Zhang Yu looked at Layla and said with a smile. Because of her very weak strength, Layla doesn't know what Zhang Yu's creation of the dragon represents. Chief Hatfilia, I think the power of this giant dragon should be of help to you. After speaking, Zhang Yu took Irene and Layla away and left here directly. The shocked Ma Karloff at all. After circling in a circle, the giant dragon in the sky landed in front of Chief Hatfilia. Looking at the giant dragon in front of him, the patriarch of Hartfilia, the horse Karloff and Kildas, and the magician who survived by luck, it feels a little unreal. This person can actually directly create a giant dragon, what kind of power is this? It is said that Jareth, the most powerful black mage ever, was able to directly create demons with his powerful power. Now this person can actually create dragons directly. Could it be that this person has the same power as Jareth? It's very possible. I really didn't expect such a powerful person to appear in the magic world. Such a person with legendary power actually fell in love with the eldest lady of the Hatfilia family. In the future, the Hatfilia family must not be underestimated. For a while, all the mages talked about it. 400 years ago, Zirf, the most powerful dark wizard, created all kinds of powerful demons and left many legends in this world. But now that Zhang Yu has created a giant dragon, naturally, everyone regards Zhang Yu as powerful as Jareth. Soon many legends about Zhang Yu appeared on the mainland. Of course, these are things for later, what Zhang Yu is doing at this time, he is still taking his two daughters to travel around the world. Layla, do you want to improve your strength? Zhang Yu looked at Layla and said. Increase strength. How to increase strength? I am a Protoss mage, the only way to increase my strength is to find a new Protoss key. Do you have the Protoss key? Layla looked at Zhang Yu and asked. Protoss key. I don't need these things. Zhang Yu said very disdainfully. Without the Protoss key, how can I improve my strength? Saola looked at Zhang Yu suspiciously. It's very simple. I'll take you to the Star Spirit Realm and directly occupy the Star Spirit Realm, so that all the Star Spirits won't be under your command. Zhang Yu said to Layla. Occupy the Astral World. Are you kidding me? How do humans go to the Astral World? Obviously Layla didn't believe Zhang Yu's words. 
who says it's impossible, as long as I have strong power, nowhere can stop me. Irene, are you interested in going to the astral world? Zhang Yu asked Irene. I will go wherever Master Zhang Yu goes. Irene looked at Zhang Yu and said very firmly. Hmm. Layla gave me a Protoss key. Zhang Yu looked at Layla and said. You have to be careful, these are the Protoss keys that I finally got. Hearing Zhang Yu's words, Layla didn't hesitate at all, and handed a golden key to Zhang Yu's hand, the key has a pattern of Aquarius. This golden key is the Protoss key of Aquarius, one of the golden zodiac signs. After getting the key, Zhang Yu sensed it. Zhang Yu discovered that this key is like a space coordinate, and it is linked to the Protoss. Now that there are spatial coordinates, everything is easy to handle. Let's go. Let's go to the astral world now. Zhang Yu grabbed Irene and Layla with both hands and immediately activated the space ability, and the three disappeared here. When the three of them appeared again, they came to a new world. This is an azure world, surrounded by suspended land, all kinds of strange creatures are living on these lands. In Zhang Yu 0.5 the three of them are in a huge lake on one of the lands. Is this the astral world? There is a powerful magic around us, which is repelling us. But it's useless to me. The power of the dragon. A powerful force emerged from Irene's body and easily counteracted this repulsion. And Zhang Yu is so powerful that he ignores this power even more. Only Layla is being rejected by these forces because of her very weak strength, and she seems very uncomfortable. Seeing Zhang Yu, Zhang Yu immediately injected a powerful force into Layla's body, and Layla's complexion instantly improved. Is this the legendary star spirit world? It's so beautiful. After recovering, Layla looked at everything in front of her in a very novel way. 